blast off. Welcome to another episode of Grab Bag. I am Dan, and we have a bunch of guests here as usual. Uh, we're going to do some crazy grab bag shenanigans today. Uh, can I have you start by introducing yourselves, uh, kind of your gaming resume, and uh, if you have anything to plug, plug away. Great. Uh, my name is Brian. I run a uh, game called Mongrel Mash. It's uh, going on Kickstarter in summer. I'm Chad, helping him out, UX researcher by trade. I take more of, care of more of the technical stuff. Uh, he's more of a designing person. He's the idea he, man. He does the math. Right. I'm Craig. Uh, I have nothing out at the moment. I have something coming out probably next year from Atlas Games, but I'm not allowed to go into more detail yet. Thank you. Great. Uh, and these guys are all going to join me in, uh, well, not join me. They're going to do most of the work. I'm going to stand by and make sure it doesn't get crazy. Uh, and we're gonna take these games. We got what do we got? We got Mage Knight. Let me, let me uh, shuffle over here and do one of these. Uh, okay. <laughs> we got Mage Knight. Right next to you. We got space. Rift, Game of Thrones. No, we got Bang Halo. So I think we're taking. Oh, I'm off camera. I think we're taking uh, <laughs> the board from Risk, the pieces from Mage Knight, the cards from Bang Halo. I'm gonna do one of these. See what happens. Um, you got it now. Uh, and different format today. We're doing we're doing a one on one game, one versus one dual format. Uh, I believe Emily and Ryan have a uh, rivalry. Um, you know, I don't want to get involved, but we're going to take care of that, and give them an avenue within which to channel their hatred. Um, so let's get into it. Let's get into this uh, these games. Let's crack them open and see uh, what's in there. So oh, we're using the cards from this? The cards from this, the, the figures from Mage Knight, the board from Brisk, okay. um, and you can use a little extra if you need, but those are the minimum requirements. I should mention one more thing before we get fully into this. Oh. We have a brand new Wheel of Death. I'm not sure the real name here, but uh, it's got that some stuff on it. Wheel of Death, yeah. We got Steering Contest, Nidhogg Duels, Add a Plot, Duck Game, I don't know what that is, it's a game on Steam. Hold hands, shark suit, blindfold. What's that? Sing Happy Birthday to Zach. Happy Birthday to Zach. Sing a song. Period. Tribute. All kinds of stuff on this. Oh. Throw some money at us. Donate twenty-five dollars or more, and uh, we'll give that a spin. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. So yeah. Um, anyway, <clears throat> yeah. What do we got? What do we got going in here, guys? Give me some thoughts. Give me some. Well, let's see what some we words got. Is. Mm, holy cow! Look at Mage Knight. Yeah, we got figures. Have you not ever played Mage Knight? Nope. We do, we do have some dice options. Okay, uh, dice options, with, great. With Mage Knight as well. Optional. Yeah. Well, we got the nice little cities here for Mage Knight. Okay. The little clickers, they've got counters on them. It's kind of like a, a hero click space. Yeah. Okay. And then a couple of the figurines here. That should be fun to move around. And looks like a lot of them are wielding weapons, mm -hmm. which should be nice for the dual theme. I'm not sure how fantasy and sci-fi will mix, but uh, we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. In Game of Thrones, yeah. In Game of yeah. What's with these bang cards? What's on the... Uh, I have no these? idea. These are all Halo cards. I'm gonna start um, okay. putting them all in the same piles here. Yeah. So it looks like a picture, a color, or there's not really any numbers on them. Mm -mm. Um, they do have symbols. They've got the, symbols, uh, okay. cubes, and disappear things, and healing. And since we're not using the mechanics of these games, it sometimes helps if the pieces have, you know, numbers on them or different colors oh. to... Oh, there we go. Perfect. We have we some numbers. Have some, uh, weapons. So that can represent different kind of things. Cool. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's really hard, sometimes really easy. <clears throat> so we're trying to involve, uh, design a one versus one game. What's kind of the thought process that comes into designing a game of that nature versus like a board game that's a group, group focused? I think it's it, the, they're directly adversarial, so we're not worried about I'm going to go out and get resources, or I'm trying to do this. It's going to be maybe you need some resources, but overall, it's to just conflict with the other person. I almost think since we have this map and we have some cities, these could be whether it's capture the flag or okay. we have to assault two cities successful, successfully. I think these could def, could definitely be what we end up with that they're going after each other for. I like your terminology there too, especially since those are both game modes in Halo. Oh yeah. So capture the flag and oh, yeah, assault yeah. would both work pretty well. We also got the nice choke point here in the middle, so if we did a, you know, the north versus the south, that could work out nicely for us. We got tons of weapons for sure. Um, I'm not sure what these things are. Team assignment guards. And they might not be that for us. They might be. Yeah, yeah. I just like, I've never seen this game. <clears throat> I think the idea of having <laughs> the game modes echo uh, 
Halo game mode is pretty cool. That's a, that's a nice place to start. What else do we have from uh, Make Cat? Is that what uh, you want to? We have piles of different counters, uh, ones that are probably tied to some of the. Nope, not tied to the heroes. There are other. I think other opposition, probably. And we can use all these pieces, right? We yeah, we can use any use extra all of it. pieces. We just. We have the required set we have to use. Cool. Can we even use this? We got some punch out little things. pieces on this thing, red side, blue side. I don't know what that is, but we can do something with that. <clears throat> something, something red versus blue. We have little dog tags that you can use for who knows. So when I do this, I usually just start to like, I do everything by feel. By so feel, okay. I just, I'm like, what do I want? You know to happen, and mm -hmm. I also know like what do I want to play. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't build games that I would find boring. Um, okay. So that's my first, that's my very first thing. It's a good rule. Is that this is a game that I want to play. So. Um. Well, I'm with you there. Uh, any kind of uh, base level mechanics come into mind, or do you guys design? Like top down or, or bottom up usually? I think it's wherever the inspiration is. Okay. Uh, just like theme versus mechanics. Do, do you have this great idea for a one-on-one -on -one dual game or do you start with people when you fight this way, oh, let me just confine it to be a focused one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. So it's uh, kind of where the inspiration is. Cool. Well, we have a lot of different assets. So we have, yeah. uh, uh, we have a lot of cool weapons that you know could be uh, something. I mean, especially if we're doing a dual. There are, you know, shotguns and assault rifles and, and uh, you know, and there's also, like, powers to guns. Mm -hmm. So you could have special, you know, shots and special bullets, you know, in a particular uh, gun, which could be, a, that could be an interesting thing. So it might be a race to, like, get a weapon, get certain ammunition, you know, like, and to, you know, face down. That's a know. big part of Halo, too, is getting to those power weapons getting access to them and then using them to sweep the other team. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> so we could, we could, in theory, place control points on the board, mm -hmm. have a southern base, red team, which fits nicely with those tokens, northern oh, base, yeah, blue yeah. team. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh, that's awesome that we got red and blue. So, I mean, that's a great, that's a great uh, those theme are, right there. Those are six-sided. They've got uh, six colors, six symbols. We also have, uh, as extras out of Mage Knight, we also have uh, some colored uh, Ooh, these, these could be clearly like geographic things. They um, could. So this could like also be where you get uh, your weapon or a power up or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it could be the our orange ones. You know, could be a power up. They could like these things could be like barriers. You know, like Stratego, like old oh, style sure. Stratego, and they're basically starting to plant these things because they're like, let's say these are like mountains or something like that. And uh, these are things that they, they you can't pass through. I remember these. I like the idea of maybe they're seated somewhat randomly and that's what's available there. Mm -hmm. You know, if we establish where the bases are, it could just be literally you shake them out one at a time. It's almost like uh, pulling out a bag for five tribes. You're pulling okay. some random stuff out and see. Yeah, you know what's, what's also cool is that, so this is, uh, you could give these pieces to start with. So they could, they could sit down and when they first start playing, they could like, these things could be like barriers, you know, like Stratego, like old oh, style sure. Stratego. And they're basically starting to plant these things because they're like, let's say these are like mountains or something like that. And uh, these are things that they, they, you can't pass through. Um, okay. Kind of like little barriers. Um, yeah, I'm sure, like, and these things, these things could actually be kind of fun monsters. So let's say, remember a dungeon, like the actual game yeah, dungeon, yeah. you know, where you're like, if you go into that room, there is a gelatinous cube. Um, so something like there is the Black Knight who sits in, you know, the neck, and you have to pass through, you know, the Black Knight. Let's mm. say, or maybe, or maybe we're actually collecting these things. Like we, uh, these are the the things that we place out, and the first person to collect it brings it to the castle. Um, you know, I don't know, I don't know what these things are. I, I kind of that's another thing about my game design is it's all like I have a huge story. Like, okay. So. In fact, he, he actually makes sure that I don't pull put all the story uh -huh. in there because my games are like they take me a long time to describe. Okay. Uh, it's like, great. It's great when you're GMing. Yeah. Every time we're doing role playing, it's fantastic. You've got all that backstory, but as soon as you try to put it all into a game, it's like, all right, we're gonna sit down and play a game. We're yes. Not, we're not trying to to get all of this story. We just I just want to sit down and play, which kind of is important for this. So if we have a one if we have a one versus one game. I don't know how much we want to have them attacking a 
essentially NPCs. a computer player, an NPC. Gotcha. I think we want to encourage direct conflict between the players. Okay. Maybe these are the two uh, avatars or heroes of each side. Okay. And that's where they're moving people to gather more stuff or to start fighting their opponents or trying to capture uh, Ryan or Ellie's bases. The one, the one thing that I don't like is because I can we've clearly got like this really awesome fantasy like these things are fantasy fantasy like, this theme is really fantasy I'd like to try to you know like if we do end up going with that theme you know shotguns don't feel fantasy you know uh, maybe there are some sort of cards in here that that are more you know like magical oriented mm -hmm. bit, we have some than, stealth cards we have damage boost cards yeah that's interesting. Um, you can always uh, reskin everything too. Yeah. Hard light shield becomes kite shield. <laughs> can we just write on? Regeneration field becomes heal spell. Health. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's get a pen. Oh, sure. Yeah. Let me grab some. Pen get a sharpie. Somewhere We're in the game. <laughs> no one ever is gonna play Bang Halo anyway. No, you can. Y'all can uh, deface these. I think we can deface We're these. We're not game supposed to deface the board, but we. I think we can do anything to the, the pieces and at I least. Think Unless someone yells at me, uh, I'm not sure. But here's an idea, actually, it just, just occurred to me, and tell me if this is a bad idea. We have these pieces that are double-sided. This could be like territory markers, like you conquer a piece, and now it's the blue team's thing, and now, I don't know if that's a, that's a whole new mechanic, but just an idea on the table. I think that's a good way of identifying what belongs to who. Right. Sure. Yeah. And we've obviously got territories available. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing I want to point out is that we can establish health for the bases. Bases. Okay. So, oh, damn. How do you do that? Uh, there's a little clicker at the bottom. Oh, love that. So, up to 11. I don't know how much we'd want to set it at. I'll just go to 11. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So we have uh, kind of a territory uh, map domination type of, type of thing we're looking at, or we? I'm not sure what y'all are thinking. Um, or you want straight straight on PvP, trying to kill the other person's. I, I really do like the like, um, you know, like the the castles, the putting out things like a stratego type thing, mm -hmm. um, and maybe even these are are like our own soldiers. Like these are essentially like in chests or something. This is our knight, and we can place them in there so that there's I mean so that we can have like going through obstacles to eventually like when you, as soon as you get here, this is where you know the shit goes down. Win or lose the game. Okay. Somebody's at your castle. Okay. Um, so you're trying to march your way to your opponent's castle. Yeah. So there's going to be like it'll be like getting slogging through, you know, some of the stuff, and then actually hitting some of your your better pieces, you know, like let's call this the, your your knight or okay. this is your you know, your rook or something. Like that. Actually, not rook because this is clearly a rook. Um, you know, but you know, I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing here. Sure, but, sure. But. You know, essentially, it's like to me as I look at this thing, it is turning out more like a Stratego board, um, kind of a. I wish a, I'd ever played Stratego because I'm just pretending to know what's really. <laughs> you guys, I'm a sinner. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, a board okay. game okay. sinner. Okay. okay, Stratego is is a it's just a little old like a '70s game where you like you put your pieces behind. It's kind of like Battleship, and you okay. can't actually see uh, what pieces are, are there. Oh, so oh wait, no, I have played this. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Didn't understand it. So I didn't play it. Really you know what? <laughs> So Stratego is war. I mean, they right. call the yeah. card game higher, higher number wins. Um, right. It's a bomb. So, yeah. Or spy. It's always a bomb. It's or spy. Always. Yeah. So, interestingly, there are cards that are, like, we could maybe try to incorporate some of that war aspect because there are numbers here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if, let's say we run into something, we actually, like, we don't know that the is um is actually he's got a power of five and so when we hit him we're like i'm gonna put my power of three uh knight against this guy and he knows it's a power of three and you know this is a power of five five wins well, this is clearly red guy this yeah that's red, red. this red is guy, clearly blue guy, guy. Green, green guy. yeah the colors do uh, align guy. with oh, their little oh, tower oh. dudes oh i see guy <laughs> that's right in case um, you haven't seen the shirt yet which is fantastic. Yeah, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to keep my t-shirt game real strong is what it is. That's all. <laughs> it is strong. Not that offensive. Um, you know, so we can also go asymmetrical, right? Because uh, yeah. it, it could be this one person's trying to invade and get all the way here before mm -hmm. an external timer runs out or before the resources run out. Okay. Just because it's 1v1 doesn't mean it can't be, you know, whoever really is 
been the terrible person that they're trying to resolve this conflict for. The aggressor has to be the aggressor. The person who was offended gets to be the defender. And, okay. Uh, so spitballing is an option. That also lets us maybe have one person be more in control of resources and, and where they're somewhat allocated, but their position isn't as, as fluid as the person attacking. Because the person attacking is deciding which path, they'll still have a pinch point, but they're deciding which path to kind of go along. And mm. Maybe we can't see the board to fill everything up with obstacles. We're going to guess where to put the bigger ones. Mm. Yeah, we're already asymmetrical because the territories are different. I right. assume they balance them properly when they made the yeah. Game of Thrones risk game. So I don't see any reason why we couldn't continue doing that. Uh, one of my concerns about doing an attack defense mechanic is that we don't have that much time to play test and balance before right. we come out there. So there might be one that's clearly stronger and I don't want to just throw a victory away to someone. Yeah, who needs play testing? We also want to keep the end result game relatively short play time, right. 20 minutes or so. And that's good for single player games. For or sure, you can just one -on -one get an iter iter iteration going. I won, next game kind of thing. Yeah, those are more fun, I think. That could, um, that could be kind of interesting too, you know, where you know we're going on that whole Stratego thing. So, like, essentially, these are they're hidden underneath here. Mm -hmm. and so, you know, when you you don't know what you're going to go, when you you know you have to get into that land, mm -hmm. and as soon as you go into the land, it basically it triggers, you know, what is under there, and uh, you know, and you have to be like, oh, I'm a I'm a five going against. You know, this doesn't have a number on there, but uh, going against. Well, the panel fix that. One. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know what can also be kind of cool about these pieces? I was thinking is maybe, maybe these actually represent. Um, so this is Dan, and this is Emily, and so they actually take control of, of these pieces. And so their their goal is to get through the map and get to the castle, and they're both trying to do that. So they're okay. trying to get to the castle first to destroy it. Um, and uh, so they could, they could, you know, like if they had a different strategy, it might be like, you know what, I'm gonna sit here and, and wait for you. I want to try to ambush um, you when you're when you're coming exactly. To my or they're or they're both gonna like rush to just like, racing. Try, yeah, try to hit yeah. the castle, get through as as few as obstacles as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, that could be really interesting, you know. And we know that the shit's gonna go down here, at the, you know, the twins, because this is obviously the, uh, the choke point here. Mm -hmm. But you know, because if we only give them, you know, let's say they have like five of these things, you know, these are these are mountains or something, you know, then then they're gonna have to be like, I can't go there. I have to go into this sort of path. Okay, that could be a, a kind of a fun hmm. game period, you know, where you're 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 basically building a channel that you want them to go through, um, and and both of your opponents they basically lay out these channels and and hope that you know that they uh, they go through them. And then you know, hit the castle and you win. Kind of like a zone control tower defense. Yes, exactly. So you, you set up the pieces beforehand, and then everything is kind of automated after that point. Yep. Where they have control. Uh, well, well, no, they would control their their character. So, 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 I think that Emily would be like, okay, you know, it's like I'm gonna go. We know that we have to go through here, but it's up to her which you know she has to go. Like, I have to go from Wolfswood. Mm -hmm. She has to go somewhere that's touching. And it's up to her to figure out how she's going to navigate to uh, Dan, uh, Ryan's castle. Um, but Ryan has already laid out basically his traps. Right. So um, he lays that out before they begin playing. They both. They both do. They both okay. sit there and they let's say they, they get you know their hand and they get their pieces right. Okay. And they both are like, okay, you've got five minutes to lay out your, you know, like these are are going to be your obstacles. Uh huh. Okay. And. They will hit them. They just don't know which ones, you know, like the right way to hit it. That's right. much like Stratego, actually. Um, and then when they hit it, you know, some, you know, something happens. Maybe we know that they have uh, eleven life. You know, um, this is their their life counter, um, and you know, as and they're taking damage slowly. Like they are like, oh, flip this over. You take, you know, two damage or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, I don't know. Uh, Luckily, we have a lot of time, so. <laughs> wow. It, it goes faster than you think sometimes, because th these can get uh, quite detailed uh, games sometimes, but. Um, well, this isn't too bad so far. It's no, not too bad. It's, sound, it's sounding kind of fun to me. Yeah, especially you're definitely different. building something here. You yeah. know, another, another riff on that is if these are, uh, these are obstacles for each color, because mm -hmm. okay. kind of like that, you place them where you will. If you go through an opponent's one, instead of having these cards seated on, uh, on the board, they're, you each have, we each have them in their hand, they each have them in their hand, when you hit one of these, you lose one at random. 
So you really want to choose a pass so you still have more cards left. Okay. So when you get to the end, you have... Oh, those are your attacks. Those are your attacks. Too, or, so or if your avatar is the me. castle. Yeah, so, so you know, the opportunity cost to try to avoid those impediments. Oh, maybe. I like, I like That's that. So smart. you're starting to burn yeah. stuff out if you're trying to so be So incentivize them to try... You can try and take the long way to the castle and, and diminish your opponent's defensive resources. Or we can just race there, because that because if we have a time element, like a certain X number of turns before something happens, then that forces them to make those kinds of right. decisions. We want, that, we want that kind of tension of which right. one would I rather do, which right. one's going to pay off better. And one of the benefits there is it helps reduce our board clutter because having cards yeah, sitting right. on boards on top of the turret, I can't see anything. That's I'm not sure it yeah. connects, but I can now. If I well, decide to move my piece in, I could either uh, you said discard a card, but I think this is probably you pass through, you play a card. Yeah, well, you I was use, thinking you could use one of these. Of what? Yeah, it's much, but it's much like, you know, the simple game of war, you know, the card game of war, yeah. you know, where you you could hit people and right away be like, you know what, I'm gonna use my my three, which I know is like a really good card, and you know, and burn it. But ultimately, you'd love to save your best cards to when you're sieging the castle. Mm -hmm. um, that could be. Uh, that could definitely be good, except for we have to make some some rhyme or reason over what our hand is. You know, when right. we're sitting here with our hand, what's a good card? What's a mediocre card? And what is shit that we don't want to play? Um, we still do have a lot of other pieces, even though, you know, I, I, lo I love these pieces for sure. Okay. I love the castles. Um, I like these guys to represent, you know, our avatar, um, which is pretty cool. I don't understand yet, like, how to build you know, a hand, um, kind of a, a more complex war hand. Well, let's take some time right now to figure out what the key elements of our game are. Maybe write them down on this whiteboard. Is that sure. Right oh, and then uh, work. That way we can be a little bit more organized instead of just kind of trying to throw mechanics at sure, the wall. Sure, sure. So, are we are we confident with this kind of 1v1? Uh, I saw someone chat say race across Westeros. I mean, that's pretty, what, pretty that's much it is. The race south, across Westeros. Yeah. South and north, north and south. Oh, mm -hmm. look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. I, I'm down with it. So, we're going... I didn't realize we could do that. So, <laughs> one versus one. One versus one. Control. Zone control. All something right. like that. Zone control. Also, a reminder for anyone who just joined the, the, sh the show, uh, we have this new Wheel of Death, I guess we're calling it. We're not. Uh, <laughs> throw $25 or more uh, donation. And we'll spin this thing. There's all new kinds of stuff on here. I'm not entirely sure how all of it works. Uh, some of it involves us stopping this process to play a game on the screen. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have to yell at somebody once this happens. So we'll just, we'll just see. We're very busy here, though. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. The, the the most important thing to know is that the shark suit is still on there. That's the most important thing to know. Um, you know, it's a work in progress. Anyway. No, Sharky's there. Sharky is there. There's a party. We have Sharky. We have blindfold. I don't know how that's gonna work. Holding hands. You know, sometimes you just need some contact. Uh, duck game. I think that's a Steam game we'll play. Add a plot or lore. A Nidhogg duel. Staring contest. Stuff like that. But Sharky is still there. Most important. So we're trying to come up with ways to make the hands. It maybe as an alternate to cards. Okay. Or maybe I know we have to use the cards though, so that's right. like one of our, our stipulations. You don't got to use all of them, but just. Oh, you know what? Our uh, our obstacle them. values could be these mage knight counters because they do have numbers on them. That's something you could place. That's beautiful. Face oh, down. Yeah. that's beautiful. And it still lets us see what connects to what when For you sure. go through. Yeah, that's good. So what do you got here? Zone control, one castle, eleven hit points, one hero. That's true, we have four hero and castle things, but we could just use the one on each side. Mm -hmm. right? This is 1v1, the, the later variant for uh, for four player could, you know, could involve these, but we could Okay, send them or those now. could be like NPCs that... Whoa! Oh no. That's bad. Thanks for the donation, Alicus. You're a bad man. Oh, I, I see there's a lot of shark interest, apparently. Wheel of sharky, spin, spin, spin. Tell us us in of how to win. Hashtag right. waxing. Uh, <laughs> I'm so scared to spin this thing. Uh, does one of you want to do the honors or should I jump on it? Don't be scared. Give it a healthy spin. Oh, you're good. This is gonna be weird. This is gonna get weird. Okay, that's easy Happy enough. So if y'all didn't know, uh, today I believe is Zach, Zach Eubanks' birthday. He is the showrunner around here, so. 
Uh, I'm just gonna obey the wheel because that's yeah, no most kidding. what I've I been do doing. That. So let's uh, should we do a one, yes. two, three? Yeah. Do a regular old happy birthday? Yep. All right, one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Fucking Zach. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Zach. Zach. Happy birthday to you. Zach the Overlord. Uh, okay, cool. That's done. That was easy. That was, that, was, that was pleasant. Let's just keep doing that one. I feel loose. I feel loose. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so feel free to troll room. him. He's over with the Geek and Sundry crew right now. Sorry, what? Um, okay, what do we got going on? We got the uh, Mage Knight disc yeah. thingies. So we have we have our obstacles okay. that uh, are seated at the beginning. I think we're, we'll are we figure out the number, how many of them get seated. Right. We have some obstacles that we can... Uh, they have multiple values we can just indicate. You always read, you know, the top number. Okay. So then we can kind of set the distribution of how we want versus the value of cards that we come up with. Okay. I like these little, that you found those little disc things. That seems pretty good. Yeah, these, um, are, these are really helpful. Are we going to have, uh, <laughs> someone saying too easy. That was pretty easy. Usually these are a little harder. Uh, I didn't balance this wheel, but we'll get, you know, it's, it's always a work in progress. Um, are we going to use these cards as our hand, or are those going to be like game pieces that we pick up on the board? Like, what's the thought process there? I, I think that it's it's like right now. I kind of feel like it's our power. So we're, we're basically putting our avatar. Now we don't nothing, of course, set in stone. But uh -huh. We've got our hand here, and when we hit these things, you know, let's say this, we turn this over, sure, and it says it's a five. Sure. I need a card that is a five or lower or something. Like okay. That. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to burn this one. Okay. The thing is, is that I didn't really, like, I had to because that was the, the place that I chose to go. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to save, like, basically, let's say I'm trying to add up to 11. Like, you know, I have, like, 11, I have 11 damage or something in my hand. And and I need to get reach here with 11. If I don't, um, what happens if I don't? Um, how 11? Do I, like, go back to recharge? Or maybe we find neutral like these are neutral castles or something like that, where we can go get more cards. Um, I like that. I like that. Okay. Uh, kind of like they're open spaces. These are these are both uh, like uh, vassals or or they're they're lords that don't care about this to this dispute. Mm -hmm. And so, but they will they will uh, if we get to them, they will give us you know like safety or something. Basically, we can, are uh, our fantasy arms dealers. Yeah, well, we sure. basically we can recharge uh, with them. Or something so then like these that. would be the cards in hand because these, these are the only cards we have with numbers. Yeah. And there's not very many fives. There's like a lot of ones and twos. Well, I think we can get well, the. A we good can get away. Of, we can get away with that because, you know, yeah, how many? What do we have? We can have. I, I can see if we have lower numbers too. We have so definitely we, big numbers. We, we just need multiple numbers. cards to take down these. these oh things, sure. Right. That's a good idea. Five, boom. Five gun points or whatever. Five gun points. Five gun points um, in Westeros so that if, if if we need that many cards in hand to kill one of these things, then we'd probably need a mechanic that draws us quite a few cards, right? Many. Between two people should be fine, I assume. Oh, it's really well, look a testing at this. Issue. So look at this. This is broadsword. It's got, this is, this has got power of five. That's so, thematic. Yeah. That's sniperette, well, not so much. But at I'm least, sorry, we, elven we have, bow. We have some stuff that's definitely more powerful than others. Um, <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Maybe it's mostly twos and ones, though. Yeah, maybe so maybe he's right. Maybe when we run into these things, we have to add up like it's a five. We have to come up with, come with five. number five. That actually would work. But too, then if we're trying to get hmm, to our hand, we don't have to use those cards either. That's oh, we don't. Also, and here's the thing about war, which I think we're getting a lot into. War is a terrible game. <laughs> that game is not fun. You sit there and you're playing with another person. Oh, okay. The game plays you. You don't. You don't you have don't any control. You're just writing you it. There's no strategy. Yeah, yeah that's you just true. sit there and wait until the numbers work out in your favor. Mm -hmm. So, so is that boring. something we want to emulate? No, but I, I like that element of Stratego. But I think we want to avoid the flipping over, just beating a number. Yeah. I mean, we want to be strategic with our resource allocation. Well, sure. What else could we do? Like when we flip something over, I, I mean, I am I am always gravitating towards you know story based. Like I know that. You know, and again, stop me when it gets too weird, you know, but like in the mountains of the moon, I know there is a werewolf or something that lives there, or excuse me, it is a uh, worm. Yeah, a worm, you know, that, you know, that lives there. It's a power of six. Um, the worm's name is Jimmy. I don't know. Um, but Jimmy the Worm. That's, Jimmy the Worm. That's a, that's a thing. Um, 
So it's you guys. It's me, Jimmy the Worm. Oh, hey, Jimmy what the are you Worm. doing coming into my area in the mountains of the moon? Yeah. <laughs> that was five, a mistake. Oh, about tree fitty. I'll take it. Yeah. One thing that we've been doing in previous episodes that maybe I'm cheating a little bit by bringing it up, but we've done a lot of uh, this mechanic where someone will step on something and that will trigger an action and that will uh, trigger a die roll, and then we'll have like two and three is this, one through four is this, whatever. Is that Candyland? <laughs> No, 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 that's, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of, I've seen it in a, several games we've made or, or in the last few weeks, that's been a, a way of introducing a mechanic that you kind of walk over, and then that just triggers uh, a thing, so that maybe, that's, maybe that could be an option, rather than have it just flip over, because that gives you a variable number of things that can pop up, oh, sure, sorry, sure. when you hit a thing, I'm just throwing ideas well, out well, there again. Well, we do have some interesting dice here. Like, we do have some interesting dice. We could, I mean, these could be, like, uh, especially since this is uh, Game of Thrones, we got Winter. Got summer, um, and then the other autumn. four seasons. Let's <laughs> <That's> yeah, <right. laughs> you know. Well, green is a bloom. You know, let's say it's sure. spring and we heal or something like that. Like let's say you know during spring we gain a card. Um, but the seasons come in order, don't they? Mm, uh, Westeros has not, a weird thing with the seasons. Yeah, so eternal winter, like, several uh, year fall. Oh, I'm in a barren desert. Um, you know, I rolled. I rolled a desert. I lose a turn. Something like that. Um, or, no, oh, I'm in a desert game. You are in a desert game. Losing a turn is a huge yeah. thing in this game, too. Yeah, especially with the one versus one. one. Yeah, um, that would suck. That's, but that's just an idea. Well, that's certainly... Uh, that's yeah, are there any numbered dice in here? Do we no, really have we'll, have to, we'll have to code them on the whiteboard. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, uh, we don't want to do that. Because we need, also need to figure out, do they just get one move per turn? Uh-huh. Like, yeah, we I need think to, so. We need to figure out board movement. No, yeah, board like, like We need to figure out how they attack each other. Uh, I, I, if we're using those cards, I, we could, I know there are magic spells in Mage Knight, so we could try busting out some of those. But yeah, bust them out. See what's. In, I mean, if if they got real numbers on there, you can just make up whatever you want, right? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, these are oh, these are geez. excellent Mage numbers. Yeah, some pretty no, big ones. Oh, we still have to make a point of using cards. Well, we ah. we got the red blue right here. I think that's. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a card. I think it's just a token. It's cardboard. Uh, yeah, sir. No, there's, they're not bad ones. I, I actually like these as like maybe zones. You know, we were talking about going into, you know, a zone or maybe here's another one. So let's say we go into, you know, the mountains of the moon and we roll and it tells us, you know, what is uh, going on. We have something in my game it's called conditions. That's kind of the same thing. Basically you check um, as soon as you enter in the zone, what is the condition? And it reveals, you know, like you roll, it tells you that condition. Maybe, you know, I don't know what oddball would be, but you know, mm -hmm. stealth could be the conditions are it's a fog. You know, you skip the fight entirely. Um, or here's something. Stealth and stealth and fire power both seem like things we can use pretty easily. Mm -hmm. This could give you a bonus. Oh, damage boost damage as well. Boost, yeah. Gives you a bonus to move through a contested area. Gives you an extra damage when you're attacking a person or the castle. Okay. Uh, same thing with damage boost. That we could get our use out of out of bang from there, okay. and leave it at that. For sure. Um, and we, we also did have the uh, the blue and red tokens. Would you have these for basically when we know that, like, let's say, you know, she has. Oh, there's a little. She's, she's taken a modifiers on the back. Oh, for these bigger pieces, there are yeah. Oh. They all say times one. And times times two? something. Oh, that's nice. We can work with that. That's now that's like strategic. We get the yeah. hidden value. You know where they are, but you don't necessarily know. This could also be uh, a hindrance. We have a couple of these we can place, and that's how many cards a person has to drop if they hit that square. Oh, you're dropping two cards. That's you're pretty hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. it's starting to look like. I mean, as we're talking about this, this entire board is going to have stuff on it. You know, so wherever we go, it's going to be triggering. You know. Um, it's going to be triggering events for every time that we go into, you know, into the land. Mm -hmm. um, and we're trying to basically just hold on to as many cards. We know we're going to be losing cards as we, as we are hitting all of these booby traps, essentially. But right. we're trying to hold on to as many cards as we possibly can. So there are places where you can gain cards, going out of your way okay. to gain cards, right, right. and going into a place with these impediments. If it's the other person's, if it's the other person's color, then you give up whatever it says in the back there, and then you need those cards at the end of the game to attack, or I guess in the middle of the game to attack if you're going for their player. And the 
more I think about this, the more this reminds me of something like Dota or League of Legends. Essentially, okay. you're defending your ancient at either side of the board. Mm -hmm. You've got your hero who's moving across the board. You're going to meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. You might want to add some kind of creep elements with these creatures as well. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. These other NPCs could be things you summon to aid you or things you fight to get a resource or, right. you know, right. something like that. I really like the idea that these are neutral kingdoms. They are, you know that you're gonna not make it, you know, like this is too too much of a, a distance to make it with all of your cards. And so much like uh, like settlers like a tan or something, you've got a you got a port, you know? This yeah. is essentially your port. Um, and and, and you could, fight your way to it and clear it out. Yeah, and it could be these are getting more resources. It could be these are separate and they do move around. Uh -huh. like maybe the oh, dice roaming roaming monsters. Roaming monsters. Okay. Yeah. Maybe they, they roam around based on they head towards the color represented by the die face. Uh huh. If we do that we have to name them though. That's <laughs> that's my my only stipulation. They gotta well, they gotta be named. I mean we already got Jimmy the Worm. <laughs> Alright, that's 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 good. Joe Bag of Donuts. <laughs> Joe Bag of Donuts. <laughs> Joe Bag of Donuts. Mm -hmm. I'd I'd like to counter uh, Mac the knife. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Well, we'll figure out their names, but that's that's my only stipulation. If we do random monsters, they gotta be named. They'll like, not, they not be nameless. They will be random, but not nameless. Okay, good. Or wandering, but not nameless. Good, good. Everybody in my role playing game knows that if somebody is named, you shoot them first. Say I've got a name, it's like shoot them. <laughs> yeah, that's more or less true. <laughs> we don't like new people. Yep. Have we figured out? So we're putting a lot of value on the cards. Getting cards, losing cards. What do the cards do? The cards have a function other than getting gained or lost. Like, or are we doing something out of our hand? We can. There's other ranges and That was, I think, four through twelve, mm -hmm. weighted towards the bottom. Mage Knight is awesome. It's got everything you could possibly want. And Mage Knight is a very hefty game. There's a lot going on there. It takes forever to set up, forever to play, and it's tough. Yeah, if we were to use these cards, I'd probably ignore most of it except for the numbers on them, right? Right. Yeah, we'd probably use the. I think we'd use the top left number on those that we get. Uh huh. Pretty good. Oddly, uh, Mage Knight and uh, and this Game of Thrones actually go together pretty damn well. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. It's like a horse and carriage. Uh, so let's talk about initial set because I think we we also need to figure out how people are attacking each other, attacking NPCs, or attacking castles. Mm -hmm. but, how are we going to determine how they're placing things? Is it just one after the other? Yeah, I think I think the initial seating of the board has to be, you know, back and forth. Okay. So that way you can react to each other where it's like, oh, I see you're starting to make a, a play to do this or that. Right. And maybe we start with uh, six or seven or however many of these. Okay. Let's I just think we can walk on toss five on there, there for now. Yeah, we think we've covered the camera. But mm -hmm. I got long arms. Yeah, okay. So you you're going to have to do that side. <laughs> place mountains. Yeah, these are these are our impediments. I think these are impediments that are gonna are they gonna be one of these if, when someone hits it. These can be uh, monsters. I guess I, th I thought that these maybe be. maybe these could be like the things where we they're we're chant we're basically forcing people into a channel. Oh, they're so these are they're totally things, blocked. Yeah, they're maybe, maybe this is a block. Okay, a so wall. you can't move that move through that space. You know, let's not go through. It. Well, see, I think the best problem is there are ones where you. Have to go through. You have to go through. That's well, why let's put let's put these things. That basically, like you know, there are other cards that that mountains cannot go to. Um, basically, they're the choke points are protected by you know these special cards. This is the only can. place you couldn't. Everywhere else you can get to. Yeah, because this connects just barely. Yeah. So if you if you put one here, that that would ruin the game because there's no way to get across. Right. So that would be forbidden. I would think. But uh, just to clarify for chat, these mage knight cards they look like. NPC cards, they have like range, attack, and defense values and stuff like that. They're kind of spelly. I'm not really sure, but there's just a lot of text on them. Oh. Uh, and then there's just a couple numbers that. in the corners and stuff, just so everyone knows what we're dismissing out of hand. Yeah, you can see. We'll play out some. <clears throat> okay, so we've, we've established that we got movement of just one space at a time. Maybe maybe we incorporate some kind of mechanic to move a little faster and maybe burn a couple cards to move or something like that. There is a times two. I don't know if two. that will become relevant later on. Yeah, but. There, I mean, there are t a times two tokens. So basically, you're like, hey, you can take two turns. Or maybe, maybe or, or maybe, you know, like, you've got good weather, you know? I'm, and good weather allows <laughs> us to, you know. I love how Vorthos you are. It's like super, super hardcore flavor. <laughs> it's, it's kind of adorable. It's a, it's a deep dive. It's a deep dive. <laughs> I'm worried about making these impassable. Yeah, okay. With 
But something like this, with such a small choke point in the middle, right. uh, I think they could be used as deterrent. Mm -hmm. Like you don't like, like we said, if we're trying to get to the other side as speedily as possible, or maybe uh, go to areas that can get you more resources for your later fights. That's mm -hmm. good, but. What's I don't think we have enough time to figure out with this board. What's important about yeah, these? So, so they are, let's say they're mountains. What what else could they be? Uh, maybe, is this where random monsters can dwell? Maybe, like, this is the mines of Moria, you know? Only the dragon or the Balrog can, you know, can inhabit this. Um, maybe we're actually laying out a path for monsters to travel. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so this chat's making jokes about old... old Old episodes. Um, sorry, go ahead. So, you know that could be that could be something. What else could mountains, you know, be? Well, let me put a spin on this. So, still think of this as something tougher to overcome, an obstacle, an impediment. Uh, we get say five of these, however many it works out to, but let's say five. And then we have these counters, and we we get let's say it's uh, our values. Let's say are four, five, and six, but we get uh, we get a couple extra. So there's not perfect knowledge. We don't know, the other person doesn't know what we've put out. Because when we put our, when we claim our, you know, if you're going through here, you have to defeat this guy. You don't know if I put a four, five, or six there. If you've seen, you know, so many of my fives, you can start to deduce what might be left. Um, yeah, so it kind of creating a stub. Two fives. Okay. Uh, having something left over that you're not sure. And it could even be, I get, you know, we see like a bag or a randomizer with 10. I get to pull out, you know, or maybe it's eight, I get to pull out five, the number of impediments I have. You don't know what my mix is. Okay. But you know what my highest and lowest are could be. You know there's no more than sure. you know, no no lower than four, no more than six. Or maybe there's a single seven mm -hmm. in there. You know what that's awesome. We could add something, like let's say there's also treasure that we had to bury. So so we don't want them to collect collect these things, but they're they know that treasure so th like one of these things is actually this. You know, it's treasure, and so they are purposely hitting these things and, and delving into them, and you know, and doing the fight or whatever. But they have to find the treasure and maybe bring it to the castle or something like that. So at the beginning of the game, since let's, is this thing the same size? No, it's not. But let's say let's say one of these is a treasure. You know, like you lay out all six of your let's call these mines or something for just a second. Yeah. Sec. Mines how? Um, like mine. dwarf mines or soldier mines? No, 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 no. Like mines, like in her, like a sapper attack. Kind of thing. Thing. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so <laughs> instead of uh, like, you know that you're gonna fight in five of them. There's six of them. You know that that five of them have bad things in them. One of them has something that you need. You need to bring this to the castle. Maybe it's the key to the castle. Something like that. So they. Okay. So at the very beginning, we hide our own key with. We also hide it with our, you know, our bad things. So, so this is the, you know, this is the thing that we have to find. Mm -hmm. um, that could be an interesting thing. Since since the backs are clearly very different, we would either have to have it drawn out of a bag to see what you know. Like if, if you're coming into my territory, you pop one of mine open to see what's there. Then I would hold the bag. You'd have to pull out or. We just find another one. We say, "Look, there's only one seven. The seven's, the, or the, you know, a ten, or a high number is is the treasure, and maybe the treasure. Either it's how you beat the castle, in which case all the action is here, or maybe it's you get one. You know, you do three points of damage to the castle. It, it expedites your your attack. This could be a very simple and and kind of uh, you know very fun. So the the game starts with we've got all of our assets. We've got Let's say let's call it our, our main number six, right? We've got five monsters. Okay. Let's say and, and they're and they're represented by these mountains or mines, whatever. They've got five, but we've got one key, and it's the key to our own castle. And we spread it out on the map. This is what you know. We both build it, so we build our board. That's the first part of the game, and then we begin. And as we begin, we know that we're going to have to assault one of these mines. We're hoping that they don't find the key right away, mm -hmm. because as soon as they find the key, they're gonna take the key to our castle and let's say with the hand that they have, do that amount of damage or something okay. like that. Um, so the game is is basically, is the key here? Oh, fight monsters. Is the key here? Nope. Is the key here? Yes, I found the key. Then go to the castle with it, game over. Something like that. 
I like that you, if you have the option to do either. Either you hunt for the key, it's going to give you a super big attack. Like maybe all your cat, maybe when you have the key, your attacks count double. Mm. So you're incentivized to get that. At the same time, if you oh, want to avoid okay. that, maybe you run over, you clear a path, you beat it up a couple times, you go resupply. So then it's the race, and mathematically we balance the game over time. But to make it, you know, that's what he's for. And he'll figure it out the first time. Yeah, we'll fix it. I'll tell you what I would do is I would just back my key into a corner, put all the monsters in front of it, and just go for theirs. And just start beating on it. I would, I would just ignore. Nobody it. wants to play with Diablo. <laughs> I, I'm just thinking about what the one the one v one people are going to do when they're uh, actually dueling. What, if if it's first stakes, then you're trying to win. Yeah. So I'm just trying to put myself in their shoes, which is really important. Uh, Saiyan Escapee in chat is asking if the is the key a token or a card that you have to draw from a deck of cards. Is the key a token? What is the key? Is the key just uh, some well, imaginary so thing? I, that I think I think you would say it like this token could be it. Um, well, it's really so. So the way I was thinking is basically all of them have have like this is a mine. The mines have treasure. It's either a monster in the depths of the mine, mm -hmm. or it's the key. You know. But is the key like place. one thing? It's only one thing that I. It's always going to be this one thing, or is the key like access to a side deck? Make sure they. Hmm. I, I was thinking that it was access to the, you know, the castle. It's just a one hit kill on the castle. Um, something like that. Yeah, but that's that's but interesting that it could open up more. I mean, the thing is, is like in 20 minutes, in 20 minutes you could figure out, you know, like get the key, run the run the key to the dark tower. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what dark tower was about? Pretty sure. Uh, I don't know actually. You remember dark tower? We are 50 awesome. minutes down. Oh, we got time. Oh, boy. So, just a reminder, we have an hour and ten minutes to get to get uh, to have this thing published, fleshed out, published, <laughs> ready get, for get it printing. Get ready. <laughs> yeah. What else do we have over there? Yeah. Just more colored tokens. Yeah, more colored tokens. We're we're discovering the distribution uh, to make sure the the back doesn't give away what's there. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's just we can cover that up. Uh, <laughs> the problem is that the numbers are different. Well, I guess we could look for more gray ones and do that one. Uh, Stan Escapey in chat is suggesting that instead of having the game possibly ending in five turns due to chasing down the key, you can set it at a minimum amount of turns before the key just spawns. So that way it, it kind of... It could be after after eight turns, everybody discovers the key right. if they hadn't already. Okay. Because then that puts a hard cap on how long that game will last. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. That is a good idea. Um, okay. And the key... I'm still unclear on if the key is just... I bring the key to the castle, boom, it's dead, or is it just a damage modifier, or kind of what its function is, aside of being very valuable? I, I don't, you know, maybe it's not Maybe it's not the key. Maybe it is a sword or something like that. Maybe okay. it is a, basically, it's treasure when all the other five were monsters. Um, okay. So the other five were draining our cards, but the but one of them was the boom. It's just an incentive to go hunt down these little mystery boxes, basically. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys like that as a premise of a game? Um, so, so hunt like at the very beginning, we we plant our own monsters. We know that we're like we don't want to go after those monsters, but we know that there's treasure in one of them. Um, so it's like a. a we'd well, have to go after the other person's monsters, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. yeah exactly. So um, you're, you're so at the end of the game, you take turns and you place your assets on the board, and on each each of these assets is one of your tokens. I've got the five here place it on top. They know that after everyone has placed their pieces, that if they go to one of those spots, that they can either fight something there or find the key. The key will give them some kind of boost to getting to the castle. And uh, the trade-off there is you're spending all of your time in the game trying to go after these other things when you could try to go straight to the castle. Mm -hmm. At the same time, there are other impediments on the board, things like this, that were the card discards. Is that something that we were still working with? and you'd have to sacrifice some of your cards if you're trying to go through those areas. But the main part of the game is getting your hero somehow to attack and destroy the other castle. Yeah, and I, 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 the only things that I see so far really that, that sound like they're gonna they, they stick, there are traps, mines, we're calling mines right now, and maybe there is also recharge. Essentially, there are the neutral recharge to get more cards because let's say you continue to run into you know monster after monster and it drains your hand. You don't have enough to get through the castle. You're gonna have to go recharge, okay. and that's the entire game. I mean, there's no other. You don't need to go um, 
they're not going to play this for six hours. Um, so, so get as much as you possibly can in your hand, as much you know, much damage as you can. Move through the board. You try. You're trying to get to the castle with as much damage. You still, you know, you're going to hit these things, and you're going to lose some uh, steam along the way. But by the time you get here, you hope that you have enough to do 11 damage to bring this thing down to zero. So uh, I our numbers are pretty big on the Mage Knight cards. Which are the the numbers are? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean they're, they're pretty high value. I I I would wonder if. Um, yeah, we can always go back to the Halo cards. The Halo cards, and we can also change the number. It could, it could yeah. be at five health, but the castle doesn't really matter. Yeah, it, 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 it could be like the castle has five health, and each card you play oh, just does one. Oh, I just two. found something. Oh. So here's something interesting. Maybe the treasure is like so. Let's say the treasures are all numbers that add. Like, let's say if we found the six and the five, that's eleven. We could take the six and the five that we found under these things and take that to the castle, or. And we were talking about the key, we found the 11 card. So basically we're just trying to get the right amount that you know we collect. Let's say we fight a dragon or something that's in the mine and we get the, the three card, that's what we win. So we're like, oh good, I got the three card and I've got a seven. What we're trying to do is, is that actually, is that fun at all though? So we, if we've got a hand that we're collecting. You've essentially you'll, turned into a fetch list. If you have 10 and, and you can't get that last one, that's just the shittiest feeling though. Right. Yeah, well we know that the 11, like the 11 exists out there. Uh -huh. um, I don't think we want to deal with the one shot KO kind of thing. Yeah, okay. I agree. I, yeah. was just, I was just thinking maybe 11 is the threshold we have to hit. And uh, instead of, I didn't, I don't mind these being impediments, but as a thought, this could also just represent, you know, like the the main damage of the castle. So it has basically three, you can take three big attacks that are 11s, because 11 is a nice big number. So maybe you go the first time, the cards you have, uh, I played a, a three and a four and a five, because that's, it's 12, but I had to hit that threshold. Now my hand's a bit lower. Now I get a schlep back to here. Oh, and so I would put a cap, multiple trips. I would put a cap on your hand size. So you can't just spin your wheels here, have a monster hand, then just go there once and oh, sure. burn through it. So maybe okay. it's, you know, your starting hand, say, is, is five. Maybe the, the maximum is seven. Okay, so you want to improve your hand. Okay, so start with five cards. We'll say we're using these, and then I'll just stick with five here. And I'm going to set up Blue's side. So Blue's castle starts here. It always probably has to start the same number of spaces away. Um, but maybe you get a or, selection. Or away from, from, the, from, from a pitch point. Right. Um, I'm sitting here. I want to place, and we'll just pretend Red is doing it as well. So I'm sitting here. I want to place an impediment here. I want to place one here. I want to place one here, here, and here. And I was also thinking about this. Uh, maybe these are little way stations for you where you can pick up more cards along the way. And if you put them out there, you can put them really close to you and burn them quickly, or you could put them a little further out when you might need them more, but you also run the risk of them oh, getting to a great. Burst. So basically yeah, like you're this. planting your own right. you know, like Cash. water station, and essentially. Then, yeah, right. you're, you're running out of water, but you plant your own well, essentially. Right. And then we kind of get back to that um, the thing you were talking about earlier where we plan on our path, and then play it out. But then oh, we that's also... awesome. Yeah, it's a cash. Right, you know? so you're sitting here and you're like, okay, I get to draw, I add to my pile. You get to here, you restock your hands. If you're out of cards, you get to that card limit. And then you can start from here and try to make your attack on the castle or go for the extra resources, which would maybe be drawing more than one of these. And you get up to some point, maybe you can only play two cards per turn. Maybe that's what these are. Mm -hmm. You find this and you can play two cards per turn instead of one. Once you get to the castle, you're just sitting there. I do one damage, I do two damage three damage and eventually once you get to the castle you're tossing that out this so it's selling good like this is working like the game is working um i uh, we we didn't we've kind of done a way where we didn't talk about like wandering monsters um wandering monsters could work exactly like the, the towers themselves so so they have a uh, you know, they don't have a little hit point counter, but they could basically just be card drains. You yeah. know, as soon as you go there, you're like, oh, I need to, I need, you know, I need seven. Yeah, to, you to, know, to, to defeat, defeat this, to defeat this yeah. thing. And then it goes back to, you know, maybe there's a place where all the, all the monsters spawn from. Uh -huh. um, and then they start roaming. And every turn, they can, you know, like they're kind of roaming as well. Or maybe there's just one, you know, there's one monster that's coming out to, like, get you. 
Um, thank you, Sane Escape. You just reminded me we have the box for risk. We actually do have numbered dice. We can grab those out of the risk box. Oh! Thank goodness, because I do not want to deal with the So what Sane Escape is saying uh, that there might be numbers for these regions and that we can roll dice to determine mine locations and starting locations. But does that take away some of the strategy of... Oh, he just reminded me that there were numbered dice. Oh, oh. Which, I, which, I don't think we want to... I think we still want to have the player gotcha. decide where they're putting their own assets. Gotcha. And we think, I think we need a combat system, don't we? Because we're... We, that's, that's why not I was, something we need to RPG! We I was to... desperate for numbered okay. dice. Okay. I, was like, I don't know how we're going to do this. Okay. This helps a lot, even if they're just counters. Yeah. Um, but as far as the combat goes... Wow, eight sided. Oh, nice. Uh, what sorcery is that? An <laughs> eight-sided die? So right now we've got health for the castles, but mm -hmm. we don't have any way of indicating that for the heroes. So do it like an MTG style. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, just do it. And then you could, in theory, kill the hero, send him back to base, and make him go through again. Okay. Um, Ooh, I like that too. So you have your own life, and maybe this guy, this guy is like his own player. Right. And he's just kind of like roaming around, and he, we know that he has, you know, an eight life. If you run into him, he's gonna, you know have to do eight damage to him, to kill him, to send him back. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty good. Um, or what, are you what are you talking about? Like, how are you thinking dice work as when, when we're fighting? So let's say we go into one of these, these areas that has a monster in it. So we were talking about spending, you know, like spending cards, but maybe if we have dice now, it's actually a fight and we can tell like how many cards we lose. Um, so, you know what I mean? So. Basically, we, we're, we're running, we got five cards. These are, we're trying to get the, these five cards, like, think of it as these are buckets of water and the castle's on fire. You know, it's like, we're trying to make it with as many buckets of water as we can. And when we lose a bucket of water, we're, and we're told that we lose a bucket of water by, you know, because we, we uh, you know, we screwed up fighting here. We're like, oh, I lost two buckets. You know, we could go, well, you know what? I've got, I planted five buckets, you know, here you know, just in case, and I, you know, go collect that. Um, anyway, am I rambling, or does that kind of make sense? Like, instead of, like, spending, instead of actually using this as the fighting mechanic, these are actually the... Well, those are, those would be bonus cards. The, the fighting mechanic cards would be here. Well, I'm saying that we take the fighting mechanic, we turn that into dice, and basically we take those as the damage mechanic to, like, these are siege weapons. I'm calling them buckets, whatever, fire. Hello. Friend computer welcomes a new oh, thumper. Oh, subscriber. Thanks, uh, Pac-Man Sigma, for subscribing. Welcome to the, the frantic madness. It's not that frantic, I guess. <laughs> uh, of Hyper RPG. Uh, sorry, go ahead, continue. Oh, that was it. I mean, uh, I was just saying that, you know, that could be a much easier uh, mechanic um, that way. And so basically, these cards are just things that we are, they are, they are damage to the tower. And so if we got, you know, if we had one that's a plus two card, that'd be awesome. We, you know, we want to keep that and try to get that to the tower. Um, but I, you know what I also like about this symbol is that it actually looks like a, you know. Two cards. Yeah, there, there, there are a few cards laid out. So we can get there and it's like, oh, two cards. You know, I pick it up, it's two cards laid out. Um, anyway, what do you think about that? I think we have a common draw pile between the two players. Mm -hmm. Whenever you land on one of these spaces, you get to draw two cards. Whenever you defeat a monster, you probably gain one of these cards. We might have two separate decks with different yeah. things. Something like uh, these stealth cards or these damage boost cards might be worth more, so they could be with the monsters as opposed to just these being the basic kits for grabbing stealth. And then we'll also get more firepower stuff here. I like your idea for buckets of water. These would essentially help you defeat the castle. But I want I would think you'd also want to be able to use them against the other player. So you're still managing your resources. You have a card hand, you have a hand limit, so you can't be carrying Well, too there's much a lot stuff. of fighting now, I mean, because we're already fighting a random monster, and we're fighting the monsters in the mines that they set out. We also want to like say, you know, we're attacking each other because we're and we're also attacking the castles. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just a full-out warfare. I mean, it was just a cup of coffee. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how we'll do this guy, unless it's something like uh, the Burgle Brothers guards where they have a 
set number that they move each turn in a pattern, and this is not a very uniform board, so it's going to be really difficult to make that happen. I can't just say, all right, go clockwise for three spaces. Well, one of us could play the dragon. That's the fun part. Is that so? That's possible. Yeah, they're, no, that's they're, true. They're, they're essentially like, we get to play, like, we can play monsters or something. Yeah, like, and we're trying to kill both of them. Nothing says there can't be a judge. It's 1v1. This right, be right. The, we're the, 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 GM we're, we're the ro Roman monsters, and it's like, we get to play. Okay, I kind of like that uh, idea. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting to roll some dice. Uh, well, I, I really like this this drawing card mechanic. Um, I really like it when you basically you hit here when you, you try to get there you draw two um, and you keep on getting and, and keep on I like using that analogy of, of getting the buckets of water to the castle mm -hmm. um, except in trying instead of trying to save the castle you're trying to destroy it exactly yeah, we're trying to rip you're, it down you're getting your extra salt gear to the castle your extra well, like, they're, yeah, bold, they're boulders gear. that you're carrying to your siege weapons you know they're they're big boulders or something like that it doesn't it doesn't matter well actually it does pick up the mountain we yeah we can call we can call them whatever we want um, right. but they're essentially they are yeah, really, uh, I, I, I'm kind of growing on the idea of somehow doing a Halo Game of Thrones crossover uh -huh. where all of a sudden there's sci-fi weapons and that's why you're going to grab stuff because that's the stuff that's going to blow up these ancient castles. I don't know. <laughs> Just to make it a little bit more difficult. I think since we are you know, on a time limit, one of the key things we need to work on right now is we are an hour down. how we're going to do combat. So I'd, I'd like to suggest that we at least consider putting the, the Wandering Monster side. I don't dislike the idea. But for the sake of expedience, not just of our design, but also the game's supposed to be a 20 minute game. Right, right. I worry the bookkeeping of moving this around yeah. might okay. just slow us down. Yeah. yeah. Move away from Bye, more man. mainstream stuff. Jimmy the Worm can come back in the expansion. That's right. That's That would make a good expansion. <laughs> okay. Um, so, in theory, we need some kind of way to have the player be able to attack stuff, both the, cast, or the castle, and the other hero, and the monsters that the other hero puts down. Okay. We've got tokens. Uh, we've got five of them each. And they're four, five, and six. That actually works kind of nicely with what we've got on the dice. I don't know if we have matching numbers here for these silver ones. Do you see any more silver ones in there that match? Or actually, we also have some of these. Uh, we've got some interesting cards here that are, I don't know what the buckets are. As long as we can spread them the same. So like, I think three fours, two fives, and a six. Got plus one. Yeah, and these would be castles in the back. <laughs> Who knows? What Who knows? That, yeah, there's some weird stuff in here. <laughs> Let's not do that. Five, ten. Are there lower ones? So what, what's, what's going on right now? We're trying to find a combat system here. A yeah, combat so we're system. We're trying okay. to find an equal number of uh, monster tokens or, right. or uh, obstacle combats. We're trying to find from the Mage Knight set uh, sets of tokens that have the same spread of numbers or. Um, Subsets that are that are right. the same without okay. giving away which right. one's which because we if we're doing the key mechanic then we need to have some kind of way of hiding which one is the key without okay it might be silver and white silver you know what the nice part is too is, the, is, that, is that now you know if let's say it's you know just one dice you know the monster is got a power of four we have to be four four or over but let's say so that I would have won there and I would have maybe gained a card or something something like that but let's say I rolled a one. I actually would have lost three cards. Like I would have been like, oh, that's, that's, that's a super, super hurt. hurt. I, I think I think if you if you lose, maybe I two dice. I, th I think if you lose, you lose one card because the cards are pretty important. Yeah, okay. And it, and maybe you have to continue combat. But then I don't probably know. That's, that's wrong. Awfully rough. With yeah, maybe that's when you decide. Hey, you know what? I uh, I'm just not having. Or <laughs> maybe I pop a six here. I would think it'd be opposite. You probably want to roll lower since we're well. You know, rooms. we started okay. with this, this talk about dungeon. Like the old school, like uh, '70s game. That's the same way. It's like if you see a gelatinous cube that is too powerful for you, it's, you're, you're going the other way. Yeah, you don't. You're not gonna fight it. So maybe we already know. Um, maybe we know that the space is a six or something like that. Well, um, then we lose the element of hiding. Yeah, we wanted to hide. Yeah. We want to keep that key in there, and we want to hide that. Uh, Sayuskipi, there are numbers on the monster tokens. I believe they're up to six. Which is nice versus uh, player rolls. Well, that's what we're looking for. Is it, uh, it, it varies by number? So okay. the range, like like some are like three to six, some oh. are four to seven. Gotcha. So we're trying to find two that, that parallel each other, which might not be the case because they might there might not be enough overlap. Right. Um. Well, maybe they give them the hmm. Maybe you give them the eight sided dice. I think you four to seven. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Or or plus one, of course, on the six side. 
Uh, if you're just joining us, so far we have kind of the outline of a, a one verse one successful um, zone monsters. control oh, the monsters players roll. Players roll. Yeah, I see. thing. That's a great suggestion. That fives and sixes are successes. Hmm. Um, that could be that could be a good uh, a good mechanic. There's three, four, five, eight, three's here. Oh man! All right. So the only thing I see here that's equal numbers is we've got for gray we've got three fives and three fours and for this color we've got three fours and three fives and then one of these uh, fours could in theory be the key that's the key we could cover that up and make it work uh, can we can we draw on these things right um no <laughs> I'm, I'm not actually sure okay well I'm not actually sure well is there another Exact same size except for a totally different color. Like yeah, but the the back then, yeah, but the, the back have different symbols. Uh, that's why we're trying to differentiate. Here. Boo. So that's why I think four, four five. I mean, let's stick with this because it's all we got right now. Okay. I mean, even if the backs have different symbols, you still don't know what the other side says, right? Right, but if they're different colors, you would know that it's that other. Hey, so key. what I'd well, like to do is mix. yeah. I guess then the other player has never seen them before, so we wouldn't actually know. Yeah, another thing I've noticed when game designers design games is they try and maximize every single advantage. Like, they'll memorize a set of items and they'll know if this item's in play, then these items are not in play. Most people I know don't play games like that. So, I mean, that's just a game designer-y kind of nuance. <laughs> like, they're trying to min-max every single aspect of the game. So, sometimes designing with those elements in mind for maybe a, a newbie or audience. I don't know if that's a word, but you know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of a, 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 an interesting thing I've noticed just watching game designers uh, work through problems. There's a lot of cool art on these things too. Uh, so the audience can't quite see exactly what you guys are doing over there. Can oh. you kind of talk through what's, what's going on right now? Sure, I'm just trying to figure out the point spread here for certain colors. I want to have three fours. Also, if you guys could speak uh, three fours, virtuosity, you know, <laughs> two fives, and then a third card that would be the key that we were talking about earlier. So right now we've got two, three fours, three fours here, two fives, and then we've got this extra five and this extra four. Oh, where'd the other five go? Is it a five? Why don't you six is the key? It doesn't. Yeah, six is key. Six and key. seven is key. key. All right. Yeah. So, there. You've got those that you can play out. You put them underneath the mountains. Okay. How do we defeat these? I liked the suggestion about possibly having the monsters have the roll. So, if they roll a five or six, they hit you. If yeah. they roll a four, five, or six, they hit you. You lose a card? You lose a card. Uh, it's more fun to be rolling for yourself, though. Yeah, yeah. But then we'd have to reverse it. It'd mean you'd have to roll low to do better, which can be a little bit counterintuitive. counterintuitive. Exactly. Or we can use the eight siders. Yeah. Eight siders to roll. Yeah, and they've got you know all the way up to six. So well, this would be this would be the key for the other person's right. uh, castle siege. So they'd be fours and fives. So you have an excellent chance, you know, to to beat. So you have a 50% chance to beat the... What well, if you tie? Let's say you tie. So oh, so ties go? Okay. Yeah, ties, 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 ties go, go in right. your favor. All right. Yeah. So these are a 50% chance and these are a 38% chance. Yeah, and what happens when you when you lose? Do we lose just one card? I think just one card. It's, it's a pretty big pun. It's a stiff penalty. So, and does the mountain, does the mine stay active? Or actually, the thing is, is they already know there's a monster there. They may not even want to fight it again. They, they, oh, they already triggered the trap. They lost in the trap, and now they're like, "We know the key's not there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, fight that one yeah, at all." Yeah, I mean, we're trying to make a, a quicker playing game. Sure, sure. Not, not as long. So I think mm -hmm. once you expose it, if you lost your card, and obviously you can't play it at a point no one can pass by. Mm -hmm. Those are, you know, maybe it's that's part of where one of these gets seated is any any pinch points. Mm -hmm. So, and now let's talk quickly. I mean, I see how that, that that's gonna work, but so now we have cards. We've got five cards, and do five cards mean five damage onto a tower? You know, if they do, we're certainly gonna have to go back at least three times. We're gonna go have to recharge cards or get more. Um, like, or do cards have, are there cards that can do more damage to the tower? If we get them, I'm not sure what cards. So, we have. I think we should. Yeah, hmm. that's that's. 
That's tricky. So I, I was just, uh, so these are all one to five. Oh, that's the, good. The value cards. So maybe those, maybe they're in the same deck as, as rare cards. Maybe the damage uh, doubles up one of these cards. Maybe the stealth is an evasion for when you're traveling around, but at the castle does you no good. Mm -hmm. But you might still want to hold it for when you lose a card in a fight. And then, what else do we have in there to work with right now? Well, you have fire power. Also, 11 is an one. arbitrary number. Oh, yeah. Right. We can make that number whatever. It could be four. And yeah. then this whole game is really fast. You know, I'm just saying. That's true. Which, in theory, you could do just by getting there and attacking it several times in a row. For sure. Uh, which could be a valid strategy. Mm -hmm. I like using these. I do too. You know, especially to fight monsters. I also like you the also stealth. So this, this, because sure. if you had, let's say you had stealth, and let's say you lose, you could be like, you could play a stealth card and say, I actually ran away. I pulled, a, I pulled a, I pulled a, pulled a Bilbo, bloop, put the ring on, yeah. and got out because I had a stealth card. So maybe the other loss is because you're sacrificing the stealth at that point. That should be a strong advantage. So, to, so to make it the, the rest of the time as a foil to compare why it's an advantage because most of the time the other person pulls a random card out of your hand you might lose your big five attack sure you know what that's you know what let's say you do have a stealth you run you flip it over you find it's a big monster it's a six you're like stealth you lose that card and you don't you don't even roll you don't even fight you already knew that the key's not there okay you, so basically this is a run away you've got a run away card um if you if you had a stealth card um and that could that way you know the stealth could be kind of cool um, what do you think these would do then? I think so, these would be the special bonuses for fighting the bigger monsters. Uh, so in theory you could throw away some of your common cards to try and get one of these special cards. Uh, it increases your chances by whatever the, it re increases your dice roll. So. Oh yeah, look at that. This yeah, it's got a plus one, so you roll a well, dice. Well those would be special. Those would probably be better for the castle. Okay. Because we have fewer of those. We have about 45 minutes left. So, uh, okay. say and escape either, are, the cards are not ranked in any way, they're just Numerical values going from one to five. Most common one, second common two. Please I think we should we should hack Jimmy hack a uh, combat system and run through some iterations because as we I mean this is all theory crafting at this point. Mm -hmm. sure. As you run through the game, even ten minutes of it, there'll be ten other things that come up that I want to sure. fix and and uh, four or five minutes will go much quicker okay. than you think. So right. sure, sure. So, um, get, uh, so we're not using these for now. Uh, no, I don't think we have to pay these for those. So yeah, let's kind of so, kind of tidy out of the way stuff we are not making. One, two, three, four, five, six for that. Right, is there another red uh, in there? Are we just doing straight up dice rolls for combat and beating whatever numbers? Yep. Um, on this. Below there, or yeah, we're still right. we're doing we, we, we've got an eight-sided dice, dice and we're trying okay. to get over four. four, four. Five, five, okay, yeah, not four, too hard. Four. Nope. Okay, five, five is plus the key, so I need the higher number is the key. So yep. Yeah. And then pray. Are we doing, we're attacking the monsters, or the monsters are attacking us? I think we, let's I attack think we're attacking them. We're we're okay, we're rolling with the eight sided yeah. die. Yeah, eight sided okay. die. So our heroes cannot die. Mm. We just lose cards. We it's just, the just lose cards, yeah. Just so there's lose no cards. way for the for the heroes to interact with one another. Or, that's or a question they too. can steal cards from one another. Okay, so they, they just do a, a dice roll and they so can if they run one card. So if they run in the same space and they both roll an eight sided dice against each other, um, and whoever you know, whoever wins, then uh, okay. uh, they win. They take it for card from one, from each other. Mm -hmm. Taking a card might be a little too strong because that's that's a loss for you and a gain for me. Maybe it's I just make you flush a card out. Okay. Like you lose one at random. That's something. Yeah, and that's that could be once we get a few iterations going, we can see how balanced or imbalanced that is. And uh, those, those up or down. I'm leaving them up so that we oh. can just see them. We don't have to worry okay. about putting them on. And then, let's say this guy wants to keep his key over here, close to home. Island there. And then, okay, we, I think we want, oops, we definitely want caches, I think, at any pinch point, just so players yeah, are reminded each you of us, And each of us has a cache that yeah. we can put. Just the one, or is there going to be multiple out there? I, well, each let's player has three or something. So, and I think this is, well, the, this is, is the only this spot you can make it around, so I think that gets the free cache. Yeah, always there. How are we going to... This is uh, balanced towards him, so... I think that they should each should have one cache because both of us could use it. So basically, there's no you can't tell the difference in this. So if yeah. any player touches it, they're going to draw two cards. How are you determining the spacing here? Nine. They're determining the spacing for which so you need another one. Well, uh, as they're like, because you guys have laid down this, it looks like a very deliberate way. 
I, we're just trying to test it out. Oh, so okay. See gotcha. it yeah, I've just put down random stuff gotcha. as if I were a player. Okay. I put the key here at the back to be kind of protected. Mm -hmm. I put the key over here towards the back to kind of be protected and then have the random monsters out here. Uh, in theory, I could have swapped them around or put them wherever, but it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. So, uh, every turn you can move your piece one space, right? And yep. then it's the other person's turn. If you move into a space that has something on it, what it would be the other color, so let's say we got all the way down here, mm -hmm. enter the same space, you'd look at this, flip it over. But wait, what do you have in your hand? Like, let's, I've got this in my hand. I've got okay. one, two, three, four, five cards to start. Okay. I've got a three and four twos. So I go up to this monster, it is a four, I take my dice, I roll, or I can modify that roll by adding to it. I say, all right, before I attack, I'm gonna add plus two. We could also just make it, you could do it after the roll. I'm not sure which is better. I think you need to do it before. Before, you gotta, you gotta commit, because these, are, these yeah. are pretty valuable. Exactly, because mm -hmm. so, that's damage to the tower, so. Yeah. Okay, so I got a two, I'm gonna roll. I got a three, three plus two is five. I beat the monster, it's dead. Thank do, goodness. Do you draw a card? I draw a card, I would assume it's one of these cards. Possibly oh, one of these okay. cards. I, I like the, the cards being all part of the same deck. All part of the, yeah, so because put those they're rare, but they're more useful. Okay. okay, so we mix in we mix in these little special cards. Yeah, now the thing is, is these cards can't hurt the tower. Right. Um, only the red cards can. Yep. Yeah, let me. Just so the broadsword is an amazing card. That's a plus five card. And there's two yeah. plus five cards in there. Yeah. So let's get these. Uh, Which makes me think maybe they should get a standard hand to start. Yeah. You oh, just have the five balance. seated in there. Right. That's an idea. I would think you have Does it, a standard hand of one through so five. So let's say, sure. so they know that, so once they have the key, then they know that they can assault the, the, the tower. They not, cannot assault the tower without the key. Is that necessary? I don't know. I, I still like that it's a big advantage. So well, what is the advantage if it, if it is? Um, you can double, you, you can double one of your attack cards. Two attacks on the same turn, I, oh, yeah, that's okay. what I think. Okay. You get you, if you get the key, you get this, and sure. you double. can attack twice or use one double up one of your cards and then attack in the future. It's a modifier, so you can take the broadsword and do ten damage. If you have, if you kept your five, yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. Yeah, that that incentivizes searching for the key. Okay. Whether or not it's going to be worth it in the long run. Right. Obviously, it's this number based on what so the thresholds are. We I don't see, have enough time to play test to figure right, out. Right. So I, I've seen set. us move around, and so we hit here. We draw two cards, right? What happens if we run into each other? We fight each other, and then we can actually pull, we could, and we can commit too. We could say, I'm gonna do plus two against you. I would think you would keep it hidden. Keeps down on the table. You could decide to play, or, or pass. Or you could uh, immediately use a stealth card. Oh, to evade. Right, yeah, say I, like I don't wanna too. fight you, and then it lets you move away from okay. your space. Okay, and so now we have taken our cards, and we are at the tower. Now what do we do? Does the tower attack us back? Does you know, like, or do on every turn, do we say, I play the broadsword, I do five damage, and then it's their turn. I play the uh, the DMR, I do four damage, and then it's their turn. So basically it's a race to uh, to zero. Yeah, well, uh, anyway, we played the idea at one point of using these as health. This is a threshold of 11. I have to throw down enough cards to sum to 11 to make the castle lose one of its three lives. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool because. Because and then I have to. I'm definitely going to go back to resupply. Yeah, because then we would that would really make the cards kind of valuable. Thing is, I don't want this to last too long. Let's give that a shot and see what and see what happens. You you, you play red because I can't even reach it. Okay, so um, one one through five, one of each is going to be the starting okay. hand. Great. Okay. Move my cards out over here. So I'm blue, and uh, uh, Chad here is going to be red. I think um, you guys will be placing, or we're just going to leave in place where they are for now. So those would be like the ones those that would already set. always get placed. So the key is a double attack right now. The key, key is, is the key is a, a double attack. A double it's a, attack. It's a modifier. It doubles to, one of the cards. Would it be more interesting track. if the key? So uh, PWJB is suggesting in chat that the key could just be a plus five attack, because then it's always that's always the best it could best be. Best it could be. Yeah. I like that. Better than a double, because yeah. if you only have ones on your hand, it just feels Well, there's bad. only two natural fives in the deck, right. so the key being a five as well is huge. Yeah. yeah. So you really... And we're trying to get to 11, so the nice thing is, is is that we could get to 11 with a plus five quite easily. Yeah. Um, yeah. What happens when we get to 11? Does the castle have lives, or is yeah. the castle dead? I, I like the castle having lives, because 11 is not going to be too hard to get to. Well, I mean, there's a long way to go, so on what's, what's going to happen is like, so basically, we use all of our cards, it gets to 11, and then where do we go? Do we go back to get a couple more cards and then assault? Well, I thought that's what these bases were for. 
I, but I see where you're going. That eleven was big, a lot to build up to. Maybe it's their sixes is their threshold, and they have okay. three lives. That okay. It's a much, you know, if you want the long game, uh, if if you want mega one v one, right, to play, then you play with their eleven or fifteen okay. or something. Nuts. That makes sense. Okay. And when you and when you hit one of these, does it go away? Or is it always? I, I think it goes away because you're you're gonna rate it and take everything you can carry. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it's so, two cards. So we're thinking six. Three. So this is pretty awesome because let's say, you know, we we place these, both of us could hit it. You know, both of us could take it. But your maximum hand size is seven. Your starting is five, your maximum is seven, so you can't go above seven, so you don't want to grab them too early necessarily. Sure, right. that's good. Okay. So um how do we determine? You want to shwazi to see who goes first? No, let's just you can go first. All right, so I am uh, going to immediately take cards. All right, um, I'll do the same. Cash that in. I'm getting two. All right. Nice. Uh, it's your turn. You went again. I just moved. Yeah, tell me. All right. <laughs> okay. I moved. Moving. I moved. I'm going in my own, this is my own zone, so That's fine. Go it's ahead. totally fine. Thing is, is I, I can't hit this. Um, well, maybe, have, you, maybe you can pass through and choose not to visit it and leave it behind, you're saying. Which is exactly what I'm doing. I, I, am, I cannot, I'm not gonna take that cash. I'll do the same. Um, I see what's coming up soon, though. What happens when we go into these zones? That's when you get a, you get to, I would say. I think you, you get to refill up to five. Up to five? Yeah. Okay. That's, That's pretty strong. Have. And you can choose to. And you could discard. I think you can discard. Um, discard oh, yeah. your turn. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know, like, uh, this so I know I'm going to go visit the castle. I'm going to dump my ones and twos. Next turn, I hop on there. The downside is if someone comes and jumps you mm -hmm. and you've just discarded a bunch, you might not feel so safe. Mm -hmm. right. So again, okay. that, that same tension about well, what should I do? This is what's about to happen. So it's my turn. I go here. I'm not going to collect. Okay. I'm gonna attack you. Yeah, I figured. You ready? Yep. Seven. Three, give me one of your cards. <laughs> That's not good enough? Not good enough with my seven. No, 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 I, isn't this good enough to lose a card? I guess I'm gonna... Right. Well, here's the thing. So is... he can retreat anywhere? I think he can, he can, uh, he can move to any, any adjacent. Does, does he get a free move, or...? So it's a... I moved into his space. Maybe you get to move him one space adjacent in any direction. Yeah, what are right. Because then you could intentionally, you could try to intentionally lose and or, get yourself to move forward. Or maybe the it's I stepped into his zone. Does he have, does he have to retreat? Do I get to choose where he goes? Does he choose where he goes? I think. Do we I, stay in the same zone? I think his penalty of losing the card he risked in the fight plus the one penalty card is probably enough. Right. Well, here's the thing. So is, he can retreat anywhere. I think he can. He can. Uh, he can move to any. Any does, does he get a free move? Or? So it's a. I moved into his space. Maybe you get to move him one space adjacent in any direction. Yeah, what are, right. Because then moving? you could intentionally, you could try to intentionally lose and or, get yourself to move forward. Or maybe space. it's you choose as the victor. I will either cost you a card oh. or I push you back a space. Okay. Well, I'll push him back a space. It's not a huge deal. It's a huge deal. It's a, it's to a lose turn a card. for advancing. Yeah. Because you didn't have to spend that turn again going. Okay. So. But if it's either the card loss or back of space, I, I also like that option as the attacker. I have right. one, right. I got a little flexibility, especially if you, if, like, you have no cards left. Yeah. I want, I got nothing, okay, push him back. That might be better. And now he can fight, he can just turn around and attack me again if you really wanted to and right. throw out something bigger, rely on the dice. Yeah. So, or you can try to go around me. I am going to go around. I do not want, actually, I do want to discard. Um, I want to discard two and draw two. Okay. I'm going to attack you. Uh, I'm going to play a stealth. Okay. And, uh, and avoid. what happens on the stealth play? Does he just move to a new space? I'm going to move. Or do you see? Yeah. Okay, you're going to move. I think that's fair. And collect two. Okay. Just take this out of the way. Great. All right. I'll move here and collect one. Thank you. Getting that assault rifle. And I'm going to go here and attack. I'm going to spend a one here. I need to. We already roll. so normally this would be down, but we're gonna flip it over. Flip it over. It's a five, and so. So I need to roll a four or better. Mm -hmm. I roll a three. I do not. I do not. So I lose this card and one at random. And one at random. Oh, that's that's tough. Oh, you lost a bad one. I mean, a great one. 
Four points. One bad one. Yeah. All right. yeah. We all knew that was gonna happen anyway. Um, so here we go. I'm fighting that mine. I'm going to use a two. Um, I need to roll a uh, total four, so two or better. You yep. had a really good shot. Got it. So do I gain anything? I lose this card, and lose that. I think I think you draw a card for beating the, an obstacle, and it goes. I think it goes. Yeah, it goes away. Yeah, of course I spent that card. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. So no, I mean I think the obstacle goes away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is no longer an obstacle. Your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna choose to attack again. I will use my assault rifle again. I got seven this time. I blow it up. Lose the assault card. rifle, gain a card. Good trade. Okay. Your turn. All right, I'll move here, I'll take two. All right, now I don't know what damage the boost difference is. between damage boost and firepower is. Oh, this says you may play one additional weapon each turn. Oh, are these? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. You can only play one. So maybe right. with this one, you could actually be like, I'm going to play I'm gonna play, play two you cards. Know, you know what? Maybe against the castles, you can play all you like. But against uh, these or another player, this one lets you drop two cards. Mm. Well, I would think it'd be just... My thought would be that since it says on there you can play one additional weapon, I would just assume it's that one. So you get that one and another card. It's just a free plus one. Mm -hmm. So... I uh, I'm not sure if there's a difference between... Oh, so the damage boost would do the same thing in that case. How about if this is... You play this when you're fighting another player. Mm -hmm. You flip it up. Oh. You get to see what they have. You have your plus one, and then you can throw another one on top to beat right. them, which makes this a very powerful card if you're being very PvP-like. Okay. Hmm. And the damage boost, maybe this is... Um, this could be in a duel the other person loses with an extra card. Okay. Which makes it very powerful as well, but there's only, I think, a few of them in here. Three damage boosts and four firepowers. Probably right. Something like that. All right, great. Okay, you're up. You're moving them straight. All right, that goes away. Uh, all right, I'm going to go here. I don't need no stinking key. I'm now, going. Now, is that attacking the castle, or is my next move? The next move the would be attacking I think the next castle. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to attack here. This is the key. It turns it's out it's the worth key. seven. Uh, there's no value on this one because I, we don't have Maybe you have to beat it, though. Maybe it's got to be beat seven. But there, we don't have equal tokens for that. That's and, why. And his hunting around is what, what got yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, fine. I mean, I did intentionally put it here. I don't know what side we're going to be on, but I like so, winning, so. so he's a one-time plus, plus five bonus. Right, this okay. is a plus five that I can cash in. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn, and I'm trying to add up to six. Yep. Is that correct? Why are we adding up to six? Uh, to, so this threshold, that's why they oh, can have three lives. Six. Okay. Because yeah. yeah. 11 would be way huge. I use these two. Two to four. And uh, your turn? I do uh, six damage. Okay. Okay. You did at least six. Knock him out once. I'll move in one. I'll do... Uh, I've got a five. And a plus one. Broken game. <laughs> I do, right. I do six damage. Six damage. Broken game. <laughs> yep, you got there first. <laughs> and happened to have the right number of cards. And yeah. it could be. It and could I could have done the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have had enough with the five and the two and the three and the five. Well, you, you still oh, have five. I actually had the firepower too, so I would have been able to do it. So I attack with this essentially. Game. Boom. Well, it was definitely more than less than 20 minutes. It was less than 20 yeah. minutes. So I don't know if we need to set this higher, if we need to give out fewer cards. I think it could still be 11 because I like I like this. It's back and forth the whole The lot. incentive to, it seems like there wasn't as strong as an incentive to pick up, because yeah, I think you attacked two, mm -hmm. and then I don't know if you attacked any. Which slowed me down. Right, which actually slows you down. So the reward, because I, I didn't attack any. You were burning a card to. to get a card, right. which isn't, and you brought a turn too. Yeah. So I don't know if that you, needs to you, reward you a little more. You know. You know what could could be like. So we start with no hand, and we actually go. We when we collect these things, we collect cards. So basically, we have oh. to have to get, mm -hmm. get a few of them mm -hmm. just or, to get our hands. Or maybe you get like just a one, two, and a three, a very small hand. Right. Um, also, I was thinking that the key could be a permanent plus three. Every time you attack oh, the castle, wow. you get not. Not a big That's five. Really buff. And presuming this is back at two eleven, like you were saying. So these are eleven. This permanent mm -hmm. plus three is it's pretty strong. 
you know, we could also do something fun, which is, you know, we could pull out all the fours and the fives, and so when we defeat this, we get a four card. We get a five card. Well, there's only two five cards. Oh. Only two five cards, and I think... Okay, never mind. There might be two four cards. So so two drawing is, is still yeah. the way to go. But So our hand is now a one, a two, and a three. One, start. and two, and three start, and let's say the maximum hand size is only five. I'd, so I'd okay. say there needs three, to be... Three, two twos, three ones. There right. needs to be less of these that's because six. that's six. Because I'm just going to keep on. I think we're saying to finish one, two, three. Just starting. Oh, just start with three. Just three cards because too many cards makes it kind of too easy. I agree. Maybe the two caches are the two equidistant points, mm -hmm. and that's just it. Okay. Those and, so, other ones. and so they're not set by the players. They're actually just uh, caches that you can collect. I do like this thing. This thing is just basically six, like, seven. hey, get you reach this place. Discard and Six, redraw. Seven. So the, the mid cycle, the mid towers are a cycling place. Yeah, so. it's kind of like it's the dealer in poker. Okay. So when you're playing like five cards, put two down, get two up, kind of yep. thing. Okay. All right. So, so you get, ones, you can get rid of all the ones and twos. Okay. And you may draw ones and twos again, and you don't know. But. Sure. Okay. So okay. I've moved. Are we doing? Are we switching to eleven? As far eleven. as counter goes. Yeah, let's try eleven. Okay. Got that. I moved this one here. This is about as close as we can get as far as going equidistant. And then there's a cache here and a cache here, as I recall. Go one, two, three. So we're not using the six D6s at all. And I think we need to reset the blues. Right. And this time I'm going to try this and see how that changes stuff. I'm gonna block isn't off. that the, isn't that the key? This is the key. Well, if you want, you can you can practice by putting it face down now, so oh. you two don't know where your keys are. Mm -hmm. You can see how that. Yeah, that might change things a little bit. Affects your behavior. Yeah. All right, so yours are over here. Oh, and and when we attack. Nice game you have there. Would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Hashtag we love you. Thank you for the donation, Snow. Uh, let's roll this thing, or spin this thing rather, and see what happens. I'm kind of really scared to spin this. Oh, um, yeah, I am too. All right, well, let's see. Uh, here we right. go. We're, got the camera on this thing? Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. All right, here we go. We don't know what I half of these do. Happen. I don't so. know what half of these do. Yeah. Add a plot yes! or lore in oh, your wheel. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. That's plot or lore. Okay, so. No. I always wanted to do that. I wanted to have the. Oh, you got it. I wanted to have the dragon the whole time. Can I actually have the dragon back? How's the dragon? <laughs> uh, you're just adding backstory. We don't need to add more elements to the game. We want plot and lore. No! All that stuff. Oh. <laughs> No dragon, Brian. Dragons Good do Lord. fly. Yeah, well, that one flew straight off the table. How about the Black Knight? <laughs> You're not. We're, we're adding plot okay, to the game, fine. Brian. That's, so, this is your. This is like you said. This is your wheelhouse. Like your wheelhouse. What I happened? Mean, so now you want mechanics all of a sudden? It is. Yeah. No, I wanted to add like dragons with names and Black Knights who have like histories with paladins that they hate and that kind of thing. But no, fine. Um, well, keep. Let's keep going. We're, we're gonna play. We'll think of something. All right. A plot point. Here's the plot. It's Game of Thrones Halo mashup. That's not a plot. The year that's on the cards is 15XX. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The kingdom of Westeros is in turmoil like it always is. Go figure. That happens. But right now there are only two people with a just claim to the throne. Okay. And to do that, they have to get to the other side of Westeros, destroy that castle, take claim over it. Mm. That makes sense, right? All right, we got that. But wait. A wormhole opens up, and who could it be? Who could it be? Oh my gosh, it's Master Chief. <laughs> and he's decided he's going to do a little bit of uh, uh, messing around with the, the Game of Thrones, as it were. And so he, starts, he decides to drop a couple of weapon caches all over the place, and that's when we start to see everything go crazy. And when I say crazy, Brian, I mean crazy. 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 Because all right, all right. these are energy weapons. These are assault weapons. <laughs> they probably don't even know what to do with them. But, you know, that's kind of the fun. So, we've got right, no space dragon, marines. But we no have, dragon, But yeah. we have weapon caches from space. Got okay. it. And also Cortana's in. Yeah. Is that a plot Great. for you? Is that enough? 
I'm happy to spin it again. It if counts. Something else. It counts. Hmm. All right. So we're gonna begin this game again. We're gonna try it this time. See that four still. We have a little over twenty that. minutes. Oh, I haven't even placed my, That's right. my things yet. So. PWJB is saying that the White Walkers have claimed Master Chief into their ranks. I can see that. I can see that. You get six. And the fours and fives are the ones you have to attack the... One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay. Shall we play a game? Are you ready? Let's see what goes first. My number. All right, I'll go first. I'm going to move here. All right. Up there. Firepower card. Firepower card. So when you're playing against another person directly, if this is your down card, you guys both reveal at the same time. If you did this one, you can play another card. You know his total value, so right. you can you can make sure to. That's almost like a win a duel. Love it. Yeah. Okay. That's the. Okay. No one saw that I had. Asking that. for a friend. Yeah. Play it. All right. Come at me, bro. Um... All right. I'm gonna take this cash. I'm gonna pick one more card. Two cards to me, please. Oh, here's the thing. If I go in this space and he attacks me, do we resolve player combat first and then the, the mountain combat? No, nope. just at the same time. So there's three people in the fight? Does this add to me? It's my territory. Yeah, everybody it attacks you. <laughs> you would be moving into my space, so you would be the one. I think, I think he encounters the, the obstacle first and then encounter. Yeah, I'd say the obstacle first. Obstacle first? Just okay. timing rules matter, so. Okay. Boom. So the obstacle was there first? Yep. Great, it's a four. Uh, you can take this piece of crap. Okay. Mm. Blow it. Ha 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 ha! Ah! Ha 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 ha! Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Supper. Ha! Ha! Huh? Now, uh, we are fighting. I took a card, so I don't know if we now fight. I think he gets the, he gets the move, right? That's it. That was me. Outside. Okay. So, I think so, that we, uh, that I think we you fight. fight. I put a card down. That's very confusing. Okay. Well, I'll put a card down too. Two. Five. Oh! Can you beat an eight? No. With your three? You mathematically can't. Oh, and on ties, who wins? Uh, Nobody. Stale. Attacker, or do we both move away from the position? That's a really good question. I lose all, well, I lose a card. If you tie, maybe if you tie, you go another round. So that, I've got one, then you can really I've got one resources. card, does that mean that well, I you need... can also retreat back to here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to retreat, it's your turn. Here's these are, my turn. These are dead, right? These are, yeah, yeah, those are discarded. Right. Come forward. I go back to draw four to get my hand up to five. Or can I only draw I two? I think two to get back to your starting hand size of three. Which would mean you'd have to leave and then come back to get to five. You're wasting time to restock. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Going into the neck. Uh, right I am going to attack this thing. Okay. Um, He's attacking the darkness. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That's rough. How does it feel to only roll ones? Wait a minute. <laughs> what did we decide with? You can't see this. What did we decide with? Could I, could I get out of there? Uh, I'd, I'd, say you, I'd say you could. I think it's fair. Yeah. You want to send it? I have a spell stealth guard, so I was going to do like. Well, do you want your other card back? He didn't think he was going to roll that poorly. Well, no, that's the thing. Is, is I think stealth means that I can like basically retreat, so I don't want to lose my last card. You're burning a card regardless. But you're just paying yeah, card you burn. Oh. Yeah. So you already burned one card. Yeah, I was gonna say okay. wait, before the fight, were you just gonna say heck with it, I'm rolling like crap, or did you want to still have roll and then say oh I'm gonna pop stuff? No, I think I, you roll stealth and you get your card back. 
Oh, I think that's so too. So basically, oh, yeah. I knew that I lost. So basically, I threw the right. stealth out. I got yeah, my card back. It's rare. It's supposed to be. Yeah, and I'm and I'm and I'm out. Okay. Um, but it's still there waiting for you. Yeah. Okay. Now what? No. Do we establish what happens after he loses? Does he move out, or does he from, just stay from there? monster? No, he no, stays there. Just stay right it doesn't reattack, and he can clear out. All right, I'm going in over here. Ha ha. What we got? The that's key. a key. Okay. All right. Oh, wait a minute. It's not attacking. Thank plus you. three to all your attacks. Plus, plus three to all your uh, attacks against the, the other castle. Against the castle. Right. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. This is the, the architect's plans for the castle. Okay. You're done. Right. You threw in the swamp. I draw two. All right. Or, well, I can only draw two, right? You draw two every time you leave and come back. So okay. it costs you an extra turn to do that. Sure. And you can yeah. only go up to five. Your turn. I attack this creature. I add one. Oh my god! It's it's painful just to be here. Yeah, I can't that. ever. I can't stand next to you. That's horrible. Creature. He wants to get the extra card. Because I want card. a kind of oh card. Oh, here. Oh but I lose a, I lose yeah. a card. I'll take that one. That's a nice three. All right, I'm gonna move here. Is this yours? You should really switch that out with something else. I don't want to beat you like this. Here's here's another one. Made this one. Thank that's you. that's here. just. Is it my turn? Terrible. Yes, I it's your turn. Two from this stupid. Great. I'm gonna keep moving. Look at these horrible cards. I wouldn't even use like... cards to boost. I would just roll a naked dime. Because oh. it's only a four. Yeah, but yeah. these cards are almost useless. I mean, I, I need 11 to go Okay, that's, well, now that you have four to use, you had, you had two earlier. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to leave that thing alone. You're up. Wait, I can't even attack that. Go back, collect two. <laughs> I can only get to five cards? You can only get to five. All right. So you collect one. I collect one. I move. What does damage boost do? Uh. I think this should. They're semi rare. Do we want right. that to be a doubler for playing with another attack card against the castle? Sure. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We, we'll need you to go heard, back folks. and write down each of these things. I win! Yeah. That's so. what they said. All right. I attack this thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't attack this. Okay. I go over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to attack your to attack castle. It. And for oh, what? So, do I get a three every time I attack? And does it have three lives still? It has, yes, it has three lives. You uh, have to get up to 11, so you, you might, need to you, at it, least get an 8. 33 is a lot. Okay, <sighs> that is a lot. Yeah. Um, with a base card of 5 playing 1 a turn, plus the 3, that's 8. This could be maybe a 2, and instead it's uh, an 8. Yeah. Okay. Eight. Okay. 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 So swap them so down to bonus eight. 2. Yep. I didn't catch that. What did you just say? We're just changing the health threshold for the castles. We're fiddling numbers. Yeah. So, oh, right. and just to clarify, when you attack, I think you do have to leave the shore and actually go to the castle. You, right. you don't attack the okay. shore. So, so sure, I get a channel, plus three. Adding a little bit of plus two. Uh, lore. I'm oh, sorry, I get a plus two, and I'm going to use a, a total of eight. A one to start. Do I roll, or do we just use cards? I think oh. it's just cards. Just cards Just cards against the castles. That okay. way you do have to go back and reset. Right. And can I put down as many as I want on a turn? Yeah, when you're assaulting the castle, I think you can. You okay, so right now I've got two, out. three. So right now I've got, that's eight. So yep. boom, loses a life. One life done. Oh, and, and is the two. last life the times two? Like you're on last life. I don't think we need time. Time. No, no. no. All right, so it's, it's your life. It's just in the case. It's your turn. So I gotta get to eight, huh? Well, you don't have the key yet, do you? No, but. Oh, that's right. I, so yeah. I certainly yeah. don't want to fight any of those. I'm running away. You're up again. Four. Yeah, just checking. Okay. Um. Why well, you just run like a six or seven? You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a one. That's a four. Yes. You got it. Still rolling. Give me a card. All right. Look at that big one. Plus one. All right. I move. Your turn. Bam. That is not the. Is that the one you moved to? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, fortunately, it's a five. I am going to play. Still need enough to do. How much damage do I need to do the castle? Eight. Eight. Three times. I can do that. 24 total. 15 minutes, guys. 15, 15 minutes. Oh, I'm ready. This game is ready to, to uh, publish. Um, Just get some new art assets. We'll be fine. I, uh, I don't think it's ready to be I'm going to add one. Six. Yes. Draw a card. For another plus two. Um, that's my turn. Great. Your turn. Um, I attack the castle for... I need to do eight. That's eight. I do 
times double, two. double yeah. no, I doubled three, double three right. plus two. Okay. I do eight damage. So damage boosted. I'm done. And I should have two. Uh, you move me. Yeah. There you go. Good game. I retreat. Oh, this is good. I'm guessing you would have dropped yeah, some more things. You got it. Hmm. Man, you're gonna hate that draw. You just got. You know what? We need we we had the first time we had too many of these. Now we have too few of them. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. We need to collect. You're, right. you're gonna hate that draw. Yeah, it's not a great draw, but I have to move back in and out anyway. Yeah. That's your turn. You go back. Yep. I go forward. I go back. Draw two. I go forward and draw two. You know, well, you are in my territory. You have to attack. You're attacking me first. Oh, son. I think it's also too easy to bounce back and forth. Yeah. We we probably you have to use alternating ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which will slow you down a little more. Yeah, we might need to, and we need to change the, the card numbers here. Card count, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the maximum? Yeah, we absolutely yeah. do. Yeah. Can I use damage boost on my counter hit? No, because it's not a card. Not a it's card. just it's just a an enchantment, you know, plus. I already laid my card, we're fighting. Okay. Them's fighting words. Oh, chicken. I uh I think Elect you still lose your card. Does he still lose his card? Oh yeah. Because he said I, I went, I went, I went shooting at the forest, and you just weren't there. I drew. Because we would put I him down. Two, down. Yeah, so I, I drew two for the castle, and that's my turn. Okay, I move. Are you attacking that guy? No, okay. I'm moving there. I'm there. I collect two cards. That's great. It's your turn again. Oh, I move. Horrible cards, and I can only hold five. Can only hold five. That's because well, most of the cards are ones and twos. Well, I think we want to we want to make it seven instead of five because it is absolutely hard to. We to absolutely hit, to should win. because okay. this game is going to last forever. And there's also a lot of like kind of loopholey gamesmanship back in in out for the the castle card drawing. Mm -hmm. Maybe they could give you more cards. Yeah, I'm gonna spend one nuts. to attack this. Great. Finally, this fucker's dead. Here you go. Okay. Now. Come up here. It's your turn. I've got five cards. Go. I attack. I do two times two is four plus three plus one. It's eight. Boom. All right. I move. You move. I attack this. That is not the. Where are you? I uh, add one to my roll. Roll another one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a lot of ones you would roll. Did you work in Vegas as a cooler? Before? I am from Las so, Vegas. You know actually. what's so funny? That's what it is. So I had eight total, but now I lose a card. You sure do. I'll take that one. Don't worry, it was just a one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I, can't, I can't hurt Your turn. Just don't roll ones, guys. That's really the, the secret. Well, I'm here. going back. Oh, you know what? I could attack him. I think I think you could stay here. You've already revealed what it is, right? You could you could probably stay there, and then on the next turn just attack it again. I'm gonna attack him. I wouldn't and, even attack and, it. I would just go find the key, right? Well, no. I mean, I can't damage the castle here. Well, if you I get don't. the key, you get plus three to all your attacks. Yeah, good point. Attack this it's like he's fighting. He's shopping at a discount, and you're running around trying to that is trying to get price. your membership card or whatever. You know, he already has a membership oh. card. Oh. I thought he'd go for the far, far away one. I know, I'm a too lot obvious smarter than that. Too obvious a red herring. So, <laughs> it's your turn. Your turn. Your turn. I attack. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Whoops, I want to go back to the castle. I attack the castle. I've got a plus three. Or plus two with eight. I'm not sure what, where we're I at right now. We're, it's uh, plus two. Yeah, plus two with eight. Eight, 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 plus eight, eight, eight is the threshold. So it's a plus two now. Yeah, you have to use all of them. So you, have, okay. you have seven plus two. Your turn. But, We're doing a lot of backtracking here, which is yeah, which doesn't feel that good, no. or maybe yeah, that doesn't feel that good. So then, and that's due to the, the castle having eight times three HP, right? Which might be just because now you're introducing all this unnecessary gun run back, m touch this castle's butt like three times, run back to that castle and touch that castle's butt the one time, like it just. I think the castle should only have one life. They should just yeah, have the I one, the one butt to touch. The one butt. To the touch. one butt to touch. Yeah, and then and then you and then you can introduce more elements that keep them busy here, and then once they get there, it's kind of a more final epic confrontation. Maybe if it's just one life, you can only play one card around here as you're besieging it. That's what I would think. Okay. 
And in an expansion, you could have some way of defending That makes castles. sense. Or, or you could literally stand here and attack the guy who's besieging your castle, hoping to run him out of cards before he hits the threshold of 11. Sure. But then what do you do? Because the wind condition... Is the wind condition beat, like, run out of cards? I think it's, I think it's turned down the... Ca- if the castle's just going to be... Uh, to prevent the running back and forth as much, if the castles are 11 mm-hmm. and the key's 2 or 3, mm-hmm. um, you can... I guess you. Yeah, I think you, the I think the castle is eleven, the key is two, and every turn you play one card. Right. I think one card just dropping the whole hand. Yeah. So. So there's not a reason to run back and forth. It's exactly. Now, it's now we need to get to eleven, and as soon as we get eleven plus or, or nine plus a key, then we go and assault the castle, and then it's a race to drop to the throw. to drop the castle. Or maybe it's. The other person's gonna follow you and try to run you down on cards. Yeah, see, because that sucks. So let's say I have, you know, I've got you know, all ones. I know that's got, I've got five turns to take that castle down, to siege the castle. Mm-hmm. So you could, if you've got a five and the, and the key, you could beat me on that. I think that actually sounds a little bit more fun. Mm-hmm. Too. Yeah, yeah, the running running back and forth. That, that wasn't yeah, that, yeah. that yeah. Like that. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. So, so you maybe you run back once, you know, if you along the way get way late or something happens, but probably you're not gonna. So mm-hmm. let's, uh, how about we set this up one more time and then... Uh, Do we have time for that? We have about seven minutes. Well, I guess we can reset it and then... All right. Sure. Mm-hmm. Clear some of the other stuff out of the way. Give me my key back. Let's not have you be the very first card that you turn over to be the key. Yeah, I'm not sure why you did that. Well, I didn't realize it. I think an interesting game, uh, usually we also create uh, names for these games. Um, if you're, uh, you guys have any uh, ideas so far for that? Well, it's not touching the butt anymore. <laughs> I, my suggestion was going to be Westerosian butt touchers, but that's just because I'm stupid and very immature. Ignore me. Go ahead. Mm. Sorry. What were you thinking? I mean, I'd like to incorporate butt touching. Some butt touching. No, Master Chief's butt touching. <laughs> <laughs> we have six minutes, and so this is where you're going to spend it. I don't uh, hear you coming up with any suggestions. Well, it has nothing to do with butts. You gotta beat the butt touching. So we're still throwing at uh, three card hand to start with. One, two, three. Three card hand. Three card hand. Seven yeah. card max. Seven card. Yeah, seven card max. Okay. And then these things are still replenishing hands at what? Two per two. Two per visit. And I think we should lay out two caches of, uh, per sure. person. Sure. Sure. So, and you should be allowed to set them where you want to set them. Um, yeah. So, so I, I don't think we need to put in the ones because before we just wanted one. We just have to say you can't, you can't place. Sorry, in a pinch point, so you couldn't place something here because it's not fair to make the other uh-huh. person always transit there. So this is just the one off limits, so you can't put anything there. Uh-huh. Though, though tactically an excellent sure. idea. Thanks. You putting on my side of the board? Yeah, because I'm gonna collect them. Oh, oh so you start over here, don't you? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, all right. Uh... Oh, is that how we're doing it? All right, fine. <laughs> well, I'm starting on this. That's fine. Go ahead. Start right there. Take up all the cards. You start here, actually. All right, we gotta go. I take two. I move. Go. Max hand is what? Seven. Seven. I take two. <laughs> oh, I think I went too far. There you go. Go. Go fish. You're up. Go. 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 First, I think you get to draw. Yeah, I have a full deck out. I have so. a full deck as well. Now, do I get to discard and then draw? I think no. it's better if you have to discard at the end of your turn, so if you go into somewhere, you're a little pants down for a moment. Okay, so last turn I Which, which goes back to the butt, butt touching, I suppose. Butt touching. Are we attacking? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no. See you later. Uh, where, which direction am I going? You're going that way. Great, I'm attacking this. 
It is a five. I will put down a one. Boom. Bam. Get out of there. Draw one? Yeah, one for oh. winning against the obstacle. Okay. Go ahead. Can I... I can discard two when I go here. Correct. You, can, you discard at the end of your turn, so the next turn as you enter, you have a smaller collection. Okay. I it puts you under more threat if someone else is close by. Discard. Rage and M two. for more butts. Right. <laughs> Do I not draw two right you now? Draw, you draw two in the next turn when you move into it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go here. All right. I'm going to stealth. Your turn. I move into the castle. I draw two. And I'm drawing the same shit that I have. I'm up here. Oh, Four. I got you. I'm going to Chat attack. Chat loses Dead. I draw a card. Don't matter. Doesn't matter. Go. All right. Let's stop the board. I'm going to go here. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's a key. That. Great. Go. Go. Oh. Hold on. Stealth that. Go. Go. Your turn. Go. I attack. Four. Seven. Fuck. Your turn. Do we have eight or eleven HP on the towers now? Uh, eleven, right? I think eleven. Okay. Yeah, we got. We sorry, went back. Level to plus two HP. Okay. Does this go every time or just once? Um. Uh, well, I thought it was every time, but it might just once. You, you lay. You lay one card. Okay, it's an extra um, plus two. Oh, fuck. I just lost a card because I failed against that. Don't take that one. Okay. Too late. I already did. It is my turn. I'll attack for three. That is seven plus three is ten. I need to do one more damage. I attack for eight. Okay. And it's my turn. You're dead. Damn it. Oh. Boom. All right. Close right to the end. That actually did work, yeah. so yeah. we're ready to play. And you ignored all my stuff, and I actually went in and grabbed yeah, that was Yeah, that was... Uh... Luckily, I had those three okay. stealth cards, so... Was cool, big. ready for uh, the testers, or players rather, to come out? I don't know what, uh, sorry, well, you what's going on with that. GM this, essentially? To yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can GM this. So, we put the dragon in now. What was the firepower again? Is it it's double your card. Uh, okay, so, <clears throat> thoughts before we bring out our uh, duelists on uh, the game so far? And here's player game. Oh, well, okay, we'll do that. We're here for revenge. Revenge. Ryan, get out here. You're so slow. Of course, you're gonna have to sit on the I other side. I was set up today. <laughs> Zach set me up, and I can't believe no, you wouldn't believe no, your team that Zach. I'm innocent. No, no. You know I would never knowingly. Zach sympathizer. I would never sabotage, uh, you know, too many guilds knowingly. I don't believe you. You're just lying to me. All There's right. only one way to settle this. Is with a game Fair that game. was just made. Yes, that is the way they are always sold. All right, so what is this game called? Oh, right, it was, uh, I can't remember. Something about... Mo Butts and Westeros. Yeah. Mo Butts? Mo Butts. Like Mo Butts. Mo Mo Something like that. I mean, it is kind of like a MOBA. So Mo Butts works. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a MOBA. There you go. I All see right. a lot of towers. Oh, and hey, hey chat, by the way. Uh, welcome. Anyways, getting distracted there. So, uh, you guys actually get to lay out pieces, or wait, why don't you describe you know, what we can do here, what this, this game is before yes. we talk about their pieces. All right, great. So, as you can see here, there is a blue piece and a red piece. Those are your two teams. You each have a hero that is trying to go to the opposite side of Westeros and destroy their castle. Along the way, Master Chief showed up through a wormhole <laughs> and he dropped off a whole bunch of weapons. You are going to use those weapons to enhance your dice rolls, which are what you use for attacking. Uh, before the game, you will set up where your pieces go by using these little colors. So over here, you've got uh, six blue pieces and you've got these little tokens. Mm. The top number is the one we're using. That is the number you have to beat. When you want to attack something, you'll go up to it. So you move into the space. You'll flip over what it is. And oh, you see a four. That means you know you need to get a four or better. You can modify your die roll by placing down one of your cards. So if you put down a three, you need a one or better to get that uh, monster. When you kill a monster, you get to draw a new card. All right, you can also choose to attack the monster without actually playing a card. And that way you get a card advantage. If you lose the fight, you just stay there. If you win the fight, it goes away. And you and lose a card. You, you also fight. lose a card. 
At random. At random. Ooh, Other player picks it lose. up. So don't lose. Stakes are high. Stakes are high. Yeah. Uh, these are neutral cities. If you go here, you can gain two cards every time you show up. So if you go in, you can draw two cards. You have a hand limit of seven. You start with three. There are also, you also get to place two of these caches on the on the board. And these caches let you draw two cards as soon as you step on that space. And it's disposable though, so as Boom. soon as they go in, they're gone. All right. Limited resources. Limited resources. All right. You're also going to kind of plan out where you're moving. The last thing is that one of these pieces is a key, and that is the number that is not a four or five. We had limited options, so you have three fours, two fives. The key to the castle. And the key. The key gives you a plus two bonus when you attack the castle one time, and the castle has 11 hit points. So you can, when you get to the castle, you'll play one of your cards. You won't be rolling dice. You're just smashing it with the futuristic weapons. So that would be five, and you have to keep going and make sure you have enough when you finally assault the castle. All right. If you don't, you have to go back and go draw more cards. Fight okay. monsters, so, cards. So it's a lot easier with the key, but we can still try it without the key? That is correct. Okay. All right, anything I missed? Um, I certainly suggest you don't roll all the cards. Okay. That is also, great draw that between players. That's right. And these recharge towers. Okay. okay. So uh, if two players meet, say you meet up in the middle, the aggressor comes in, you both have the option to put down a card hidden from the other player. So you say, all right, I've got one and two, I'm gonna put down, you put down face down, then you both roll, whoever's the higher value wins. If it's a tie, you both move away from that space. The winner uh, gets to either push the player in the direction of his choice or take a card from the other player. And that card goes to be discarded, you don't get to keep it. All right. Uh, one one last thing, what is, oh, go ahead. Uh, the movement, I missed the movement. Once per turn, you can do one thing per turn, it's move, and when you move into a space that's occupied, you attack, you uncover the token, and then attack. So just one space at a time. Yeah. One space at, at a time, time. So the beginning of the game right. is you basically plant out your uh, your mind. So these things, like, you plant them yourself, wherever cool. you wherever you want to put them. That and one of them is the key. And you don't interact with your own obstacles, they're what you've left behind for someone else. So you can move through, if you're blue, you can move through any blue square, blue obstacle. No problem. No problem. You also are going to get two caches of cards. You can play anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Symbolized by these. And, and I cannot claim my own cache, I assume. You can. You can. Oh, the okay. caches you can. You put them oh, wherever cool. you like. These, you start with three cards, maximum seven. You could put them right next to yourself. Just go do 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 do. Or you could put it a little further out because you figure maybe you've lost some cards along the way. You don't want to sidestep into one of the uh, resupply castles. Okay. And is there any limit for where I, where we can drop our caches? Or? The caches, no. The obstacles, I don't think we established it. it has to be on your side of the board or not. No, nope, nope, you can you put them anywhere. The so, so, you know, if I was trying to prove my innocence, I would just drop all my caches to Emily, potentially. You could, in theory, do that. But obviously the best way to prove you're innocent is trial by combat. <laughs> that is always yeah. the case. Trial by combat is the ultimate method of deciding your problems. There we go. Three fours and... So he's laying out your pieces. Three fours. Okay. For you to lay yeah, out six lay down. mountains. Six mountains. The highest we get a lore recap? I touched on it briefly. Uh -huh, the lore okay. is this is the Kingdom of Westeros, as you can see. And you are two buyers for the throne. You're contenders for the throne. And that's in King's Landing, but... You're from beyond Obviously, the wall. Obviously, I'm the true born. And you're from some islands. That may be where the maesters are from. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, Master Chief shows up through a wormhole. He's like, I'm going to mess around with this. Uh, let's see what I can do. So he drops a whole bunch of military weapons. Uh, you have found these, and you're like, oh, this is going to be easy. I'm just going to go on a rampage throughout West Westeros, take over the opposing contender for the throne, and by doing so, lay claim to the land that is rightfully yours. Who needs dragons? You don't need dragons, dragons when you have assault rifles. <laughs> and uh, someone did ask in chat oh, yes. about discarding cards, because there's the hand limit of seven, maybe you're getting close to another cash. Mm -hmm. At the end of a turn, you can drop extra cards, so that when you land on some next turn, you can draw more. Okay. It also leaves you potentially vulnerable, because if you're about to have, have that person attack you, maybe you're not so excited to drop cards, knowing that if, they, if you lose, you lose a random card, maybe they're going to pull your big one, because you've got some chaff out. Okay. Mm. All right, and did we get our starting cards for you? You should have a one, a two, and a three. Uh, Not those. All right, we'll find some. Maybe they collected up there. All right, so. and for setup phase, um, do we do that all right now? Then. Yep. Yep. Uh, make sure you're keeping it hidden. Hidden. And you get your two caches. I think everything's out there. Okay. Remember that right. the big card is the key. Okay. Um, and do we do that in turns, or do we just go? You can just do it right now. Just right up. All right. 
in in tournaments you would probably go back and forth, but since this is a casual duel, yes, yes, just drop that where you I mean, you'd like to. there's nothing really casual about it since my honor is on the line. But yeah, the stakes are high. <laughs> Besides that, I'm not, I'm not thinking. So and I'm going to advocate for maybe a switch because the long arms are helpful. For Actually, it doesn't matter because you have to go to either side. Should we turn the board sideways? Would that make it uh, easier? For the sake of the camera, yeah. I don't know if that might. Oh, uh, that might mess up the camera. Really bad. Uh, I'm sure you guys can handle it. All right. The board should be keep it centered. It'll be fine. All right. Let's let's try this switch since okay. I think that'll make it a little easier. Considering I have very short arms. Yes. What is take down in these two? Oh, they got less that is work. not that well. Work. Work. Oh, okay. look oh. at that. You did it. Oh no. All right, Anna, what do you make of that? Ta-da! Which we saw on the screen? Maybe. Maybe. Move it slightly to your left. Okay. Good. All right. So now we can hide our hands as well. Well, I guess we're not there yet, but. Yeah. So plant your mind. Plant your minds. Okay. okay. And remember, you don't want them to find them here, right. but you do want to impede their progress with your monsters. monsters. Right. These are all monsters that have numbers except for one special one, and that's the key. Okay. Um, that's not your key, it's the big one. The key is good for your opponents, the monsters are bad for your opponents. Yeah. You have a key for her. And then you can put your, uh, yeah, your color it, control it, there. Just okay. just oh, oh, wait. That, and so you plant oh, them anywhere on the map, and put them face down, and put one of these the, on the top of okay. the These are all okay. called mines. Okay. Here's your indicators. Oh, and your blue? Yes. Thank you. That was uh, awfully friendly of you. Downright, tell him with kindness. Downright friendly. You tell him about the dragon. <laughs> there is no dragon. What? <laughs> there is no dragon. There's a dragon. Now the dragon got thrown across the room. There's a it was dragon. trying to fly. Dragon heads take off. It was trying to fly away from a bad idea. Okay, it's a secret dragon. So do I want my key closer to me or further away from me in general? By the way, Final Fantasy Nine Master, thank you for the support. Um, you want it so that he doesn't find it. I see. All right. If Good he gets know. it, he does more damage. So you want so to keep it away from six total. Whether that means putting it in a weird place or surrounding it with all the monsters is up to you. Hmm. Oh, I should also mention that there are a couple special cards in the deck. They don't just have numbers. There is a stealth card that lets you avoid combat. If it is a monster combat, you can play it after you reveal the monster and just say, I don't want to fight this and back away. If it's player versus player combat, you can uh, put it face down. And when you reveal, you just say, haha, I'm leaving. When you play that okay. card, you can move one space. Uh, there's a damage boost card that gives you a multiplier of times two on another weapon card. So if you use the damage multiplier on all three, you do six damage instead of three. And then lastly, there's the uh, firepower card that gives you a plus one, and you can also add an additional card on top of that. So if you play that on a player versus player duel, then you get that plus one, but you can also add a card after combat has been resolved, after the dice have been rolled, and Fantastic. that will let you decide uh, if you want to try and beat that score, if you need to. All right. Do we get them right. the castle thresholds to uh, beat them up? Castle threshold to beat up? How to, how to win? Oh, that's right. Uh, Strategic is the word. When you get to the opponent's castle, you have to attack every round, and you can put down one card per round. You, if you have the key, you can also play that at any point to do the two damage. Uh, And we'll cover all that stuff as the play proceeds. Play. Yes. All right, the final and most important. I was going to tell it. Totally not the key. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not the key. Strategy. You just. Oh, just wait. Words, just you, throwing them out there just to see which ones we'll grab onto. No idea what I'm doing. Because here. You're right, I don't. Here's the ultimate switcheroo. Whoa. <sighs> <laughs> it's just trolling. That was a three card empty there. And don't forget, you have two caches each to place. Oh, yeah. Anyone can collect them, so don't give them just right to them. Okay. So we could wait. Or do we have to place them you now? You have to place them now. Oh, yeah. place them now. Okay. But think twice about if you want it further down when you might need it, or closer to yourself to just bulk up early on. Yeah, it could be smart just to put them right in front of you and just immediately collect them. Mm. That sounds like advice. It does. <laughs> well, we clean it for three <laughs> times now. Sounds we're we're kind of old hats at this game. <laughs> uh huh. Let's see what happens. 
it's I mean how do you draw that armor? Or do you is it just count? Is it like a butt pat or just like Yeah, it's like you know I am ready sports. to prove my innocence by beating you. So we roll dice. Convince to see me who... that you're innocent by losing. Um, roll dice to see That's who goes first. I don't know. <laughs> we both use eight sided. Cool. High dice wins. The first test. Oh, oh boy. Zach what? strikes again. He's cursed me. Zach cursed all these <sighs> dice. All right, so I go first. Did you roll one? Right? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. That is. So was this the faulty die from earlier? Stand. No, actually, so one, one of the darker one? ones. One. So. Hey, look, I found a cash. Amazing. I wonder draw, how that draw got two there. Cards. Draw two. Draw two of these? Yep. yep. Yes. And you can keep those. Those are the deck. Right oh, there. these. And got don't it. show them. Yeah, keep them in. That is secret information. This is all your hands. Okay. Uh, so you. So that. He didn't see those. Okay, good. That's a good one. Okay. And then I do anything else? Or nope, is your turn's over. My turn, turn is over. Turn. All right, so move I one. can move one. And pass. And pass my turn. I'm in no rush. I don't need to collect any cards. I don't feel safer just Move for having one, lots of cards in my hand. Collect my cash. Okay. Take two. Taken two. That probably is good. Maybe. It's very good. That's yes. really good. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what else is good? Move into another empty space. So sad and lonely over if there. If you want to see what any of the special cards do, they're <laughs> written behind you. Oh, cool. So. So stealth means that you avoid combat, damage boost, you get times two on times any card. Two on any card. Firepower. Yeah, well, it doubles the card. Yeah. Munch, I have no idea whose die this is. Uh, firepower, you get plus one and you add a new card, and then if you get the key, you get plus two to one castle attack. Good to know. Okay. I took my turn. It's your turn. I just moved again. Then it's my turn. <laughs> I am also moving. So if I go on here... And you fight or you turn it over and, and see what it's got. You can try. So flip it. That would be funny if it had been the key. That yeah. would have been amazing. So you need, to get, <laughs> you need to get a five or over and uh, on, a, on a dice roll, okay. on an eight-sided dice. Now you could drop a card. Like let's say you had a card that said plus two in, in, in your hand. Mm -hmm. If you do, like that's a three, that's a one, that's two. Don't if read you, out all her cards, I Brian. Read, I read her the ones who are starting hand. You could drop that one, mm -hmm. and it'll add two to your roll. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add two to my roll. Boop, 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 oh, boop. the most powerful gun in Halo, <laughs> the pistol. <laughs> I didn't need it, You because I rolled seven. You clearly win. You knock this thing out, you draw a card, you move this card. Okay. So this ah, card pile. I've drained you of your resources. Uh-huh. But I drained you of yours also. Well, and it's now it's Ryan's turn. One okay. at a time. All right. I'm going to move again and pass my turn. Inventive. I'm saving my power okay. when I need it. I'm moving again. And I'm going to fight you. So I need to roll higher than five? Another five. OK. And then I'm going to do, what is that one? A one. A one power? Why You're not? Need more... oh! oh! She's not going to need it. Ah. OK. So you draw. And I draw. Mm -hmm. Draw and discard that other one. All right, here we go. Hit my first cash. Big draw here. Ooh, that's a good one. That's going to be the one that wins me. Why don't I believe you? Oh, wait, and this is another big one. You wanted one of those. I do. I don't remember what it does. That's okay. I'll, uh, I'll don't be get sneak discouraged. I'll be sneaky about don't that get one. Discouraged. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna move uh, that way. All right. Well then, I'm gonna take on. Oh, and then do I take two here? No. No. Oh. You get nothing. Nothing. But I will take down your first trap. Oh, a four. No problem. That's no, what you say now. I'll, uh... That's what I can say. It's only a four? Come on. It's only a four, but I'll give myself plus two because I know these dice are cursed. So don't roll a one. Yeah. No problem. Don't roll a one. Anything but a one. Here we Nothing go. Anything but a one. <laughs> totally not jinxed. Ah! Not a, a one. <laughs> not a one. Now we'll do it. You've chosen wisely. Woohoohoo. So I'm going to draw a card for that. All right, back to you. Okay, I'm gonna hop on over to the Red Mountains. Call it good. Your turn. All right, let me uh, let me consult our board for a second here. Hmm. 
max hand is seven, so you probably have near seven. Getting close. I am at five right now. So, you, oh, well, you could go visit that green castle in your next move and collect two cards by doing it. Or you could go and take it from the cache right in front of you. Good options. Hmm. Let's see. Boy, would it be such a bummer if the seven was there and I had already passed it. It would be a bummer. That'd be pretty sneaky. But that's exactly what you want me to think. It's the double reverse bluff. I'm gonna take the cash. Inconceivable. I have like a dozen guns. I mean seven, but whatever. Four <laughs> aces. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Are you? Which spot are you in here? You're kind of in both. I think he's in the corner. You're just really far away. Just to be like that. Okay. Well, I'm now in green blood. Move. What what do you think you're gonna gain by going to the corner? That's only gonna take you farther from where you need really to be. I really hope it's a troll. I really, it's possible that it's a troll, but I'm also the kind of person that likes to collect them all. So. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go collect the prize. And move forward. Okay. I'm gonna move over here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Flip you over. What is it? Ha. <laughs> Not what I was hoping. Just a four. No big she deal. She was hoping for. <laughs> okay. You thought it would be that easy? Didn't say I really thought it would be that easy. I said I wanted to collect them all. Oh, that's true. You didn't say that at all. <laughs> if you don't want to roll, you can uh, you don't have use to one of your cards. Oh, I don't? If you have a stealth you card, you can chance of, cash of that losing in. a card, though. It's fair. It's fair. You know what? Bye. Oh, you can't? You, oh, I can't? You, I have oh, to do it now? Oh, no. You gotta, gotta do it? it? I gotta so fight it? Oh, you could okay. use a stealth card to move away. You, you don't have to you, fight it. If you had a stealth card, oh. you don't have to fight this. In that case, I totally <laughs> have a stealth card. Well, then you can. So I'm just gonna. Go. Just... Oh, hey, it's Sally, everybody. Hey, Say Sally. hi to Sally. This hi, is Sally. intense. You've come into a battle between me and Ryan. Ryan drank the last cup of coffee and didn't refill the pot. Then he messed up a couple <laughs> videos and too many guilds. And then, and then, tell her about the last I time. am being punished for my ambition and being framed by Zach. You're a Zach sympathizer. Okay. Let's move on. Zach sympathizer. Yes. <laughs> Sally, maybe you should be the judge as we continue. I'll go forward. <laughs> just, I, just cruising through Westeros. I am as also moving does. forward. Looks like you're moving towards confrontation. What happens if I get in the same square as him? Then you fight. We're gonna fight. It's on. In real life, in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go over here. Really? Yeah. Really? That's how you do it? I'm gonna move here. Interesting. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna. Can I move here? Yeah. Yeah. That's my spot now. <laughs> so if you enter that space, you have to not only fight the mine, and you have to fight her. Wow, so you're basically you're basically telling me that I just <laughs> found your key, is what you're trying to say. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, I hit it pretty well. You do fight the mine before you fight her. It's not simultaneous. That's good news. You got enough cards. You know it. what? I'm going for the big prize. Right. Oh. I don't even need the key. That's how good my hand is. I oh, she's declare you. war. So you could lay cards face down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Way. Declare war? How'd you move from here to here? These that's, are touching, right? That's there. an illegal move. Oh, you're right. No, that was illegal. Oh. I like to break rules. See what chat, can I say? See chat. Look who is defying the rules of the game Got openly. Fine. 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 I'll right. move here. Oh, well, there is that. That changes everything. Your move, my friend. I'm gonna move here, because I have, I have no quarrel with you. Interesting, interesting. I have one with you. So she's trying purposely to take a card from you, which is worse. All right, so you will both okay. place a card face down if you want to. One of the, the blue cards or the red cards? Oh, do I ever. Any card? Any card. Do I ever. Do I oh, ever. These are, don't do anything. Uh, let's see, actually. They all do stuff. Everything does stuff in player first. This place. card right here. Right here. That's the one. 
And then so no, 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 you roll. Then we both roll. roll. Oh, okay. Two. Oh boy, now you <laughs> flip. And now you flip and oh, that's embarrassing. Positive. So she added a... Uh, ha! Ninja! Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> no, 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 you don't! Ha! So you made her waste her card. Yes! And you get to move away from the space room. No! All right, can I move any direction? Yes. Yes, yep. any legal move. And it is now your turn. I'm coming for you. How do I stop this? You can go back and attack him, or you start, could you make a beeline. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we're gonna go this way. So now, if you attack the castle, you can play one card at a time, unless you have a card that can do a modifier. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm attacking the castle to prove my innocence. Here we go. And you don't roll for this, you just place cards. Just place, you're trying to get to oh, 11. <laughs> just trying to get to 11. Oh no, just one card? One card at a time. One card at a time. Each and turn you're trying you to place get to one. 11. And it's gonna be hitting me the whole time. No, it doesn't hit back. Oh. You have assault weapons. <laughs> Whoa, modern Thank technology is technology. really good for destroying towers. All right. So I'm going to play a card. I'm going to play a four. Big start. Four minus 11 is... Seven. Four minus 11 is negative seven. Okay, so <laughs> negative seven score. Remind me what this, this is? That's going to give you two cards. You'll draw cards when you go to those castles. Okay, and what happens when I go to Same this thing. one? Same thing. Okay, just check. They're recharged. They're neutral, neutral okay. towers. Cool. Arms I am going to, going to continue beelining this way. Unless, it's too late, I already made it. <laughs> Is Chad trying to help? <laughs> Chad, you're Team Emily. Hashtag they are, Emily Empire, they are you know this. I'm Team Emily. I'm only doing this, you know, because of my reputation. <laughs> And now I'm gonna do three more points of damage to your tower, which the tower's at four. You have abandoned. Clearly I have. Mm -hmm. I'm a failure of a keeper of the castle. Uh, well, hmm, choices. Dan, what do I do? Which one do I go it's for? It's tough, because you've burned a lot of turns running around. I sure have. And the <laughs> castle is like 17 turns away. <laughs> um, you, you, yeah, it's a non-committal, yeah. it's, a, it's an indecisive, the problem of, you know, waveringness. The thing is, is you got to hope his... that he doesn't have enough, <laughs> enough points to take the castle down. You know, I feel kind of like he does, though. So I'm going to, I'm just going to, that's legal, that way, going start. that way. Yeah. If, if you engage him in combat and you, you can take he's going to cost a card right to do now? it. And maybe that lose is my card. plan. Well, openly telling you that's my plan. Well, what's amazing is that you have like... 99.9% .9 of chat support. I know, so. and yet, it's like I'm a, terrible at working. You, <laughs> you have the moral high ground, but yeah. unfortunately that gives you no bonus yeah. in this game. All right. I'm gonna lay down I'm gonna continue card. taking the high road. All right, uh, so I gotta get to four. You gotta four. do four more damage to this castle to end this game. All right, one more point. Tick tock. Now you can uh, attack him. Oh, sh shoot. Darn. Oh no. Oh no. gee. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. So, okay. You could, oh, because... You're basically trying to drain cards from him. You could lay a card face down and roll. And if you win, he's going to discard anyway. I have nothing to do than uh, defend myself, I guess. It's true. Defend your honor, sir. This game's a lot more interesting when you are also fighting me for the objectives. <laughs> if I were you, I would just roll, put no cards down, just roll a naked die and hope to outroll her. Instead of well, burning a card, because you can just mm -hmm. keep your cards, and then, and then your oh. next round you can still throw. The, I mean, maybe that's—I don't know if that's a smart idea. Actually, I have no idea. Because you can attack every turn. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know. Or well, maybe you only, only you've taken three, a worm tongue. You only need to do three damage game. to the maybe. tower to win. So let's see. Hmm. Hmm. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'm looking Make at choice. I'm looking at chat for love and support. There's a few out there. There are a couple Rai Rai fans. Sage Topian, Final Fantasy Just remember Nine who's Master. been here for you for four months. Alakus, <laughs> that's true. I've been here for a little more would, than a week, guys. You would guys. pledge loyalty I'm now a veteran. to this new fresh face. Wow. All right, it's okay. I will roll the naked die against whatever you got. Right. Where's my die? I took. What wait, happened to it? There it is. I need a it new one because mine's been defective okay. this whole time. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it goes Zach. Here well, we go. Other people's dice. Ugh. Yes. Wait. wait. Wait, but 
It's okay, a tie. So now you Wait, get a, but he, isn't that for his cards? No, this is for you. Oh. Okay. You get to you can put down another card. So, oh. And multiply it by two. Oh. Or you can leave it there and get a plus one. Oh, oh. so sorry. Oh, that must suck. Oh. So you can you, either, you take you a card from him. Or she can push him to another square. Or right. push him to another square, that's right. But it's gotta be like in this surrounding Achieve, area. Yeah. Yeah. Legal move. All or right. for, have him burn a card. Oh, please burn a card. You get to draw. Pick one at random. Throw in the discard. Oh, oh good. All right, so well, now it's your turn. If you can do three damage to the tower, you can win. Uh, Hefe Blends. This is a game that we just made up together. I mean, I was not part of it. I am play testing it. But uh, this is a game show where we blend a bunch of different kinds of games together. And they've got two hours. Game designers have two hours to uh, make up a brand new one. So we are play testing the game that they've been working on for two hours. It is called Mo Butts. It's called Mo Buttsteros. Mo Buttsteros. Buttsteros. Kind of. <laughs> We're not sure on the name yet. It, it, yeah, it's still, it's still an alpha. Pat Working in progress. <laughs> yeah, Very much you alpha. will. Anyway. All right, so, you just, you, so just, I just, you just, just kicked my ass. Sure did. I don't know what you expected. Uh, do you not have any cards left? I have a couple cards. So oh, it's your turn. That's that's a nice chance. Oh jeez, that yeah. would get that would get complicated. All right, I gotta retreat. Like this is too yeah. this is too hot for me. Hey, I'm out. I'm out. out. Ready to lose a card so you can. Hey Nicole, oh, thanks for stopping by. Drink. Yeah. So you're out. I'm out. Of the You've got no cards. cards. No, he has to run back. No, so I'm he just running. His hand. Oh, 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 oh. I've got two cards oh, in hand. You're literally out of the but space. But I'm just I'm piecing. Understand. Okay. All right. Okay. I, you guys didn't get my cool lingo there. I didn't. I understand. I you, did. could, you could beat, if you get lucky, you could beat that mine and collect a card too. That's what I'm hoping. But also, Emily could just like stab me in the back. Yeah, she's not even going after the <laughs> I Would hope I not. I don't know anymore. Not in the back, only, hmm. only looking you straight in the eye. Right in the, the heart. Right in the heart. <laughs> right in the heart, straight in the eye. Straight in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's your turn though. Oh, yeah, you're right. For stabbing me in sure the back. Sure is. Um, is there anything I can do with my no, castle? No. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop over this way. I don't want to duel him, though. Do I have to duel him if no, I go into that spot? Here's the thing, like, you have only one way to win, mm -hmm. and that, that is to kill his castle. Right, right. You're down, your castle's down to three HP. What he's, the only way to, to the game's gonna go two ways, right? He's gonna get more cards, come back and beat up your castle, or you're gonna get all the way to his castle and beat it up before he gets to do all that. So you have to decide, do you want to just follow him to his castle, beat him up, take all the rest of his cards, and then move on to your castle and beat, you know, his castle, beat that up? Oh, oh, because you can't win chilling around here defending this. There's no way to win doing that. Hi, let's duel. You're gonna drive me out of out of your lands. Yeah. You want to duel you. again? Du -du -du -du. All right. Get a spoke of a forceful eviction. Does <laughs> <laughs> yeah. du -du -du duel? All right. That's what it all right, I'm going naked die, no problem. Naked die. Oh. oh. Can I keep this if I have a No. Nope. Well, no. You're still burning those cards. Still burned it. It's okay. It was so little. you draw one from him. Or force him back. Or put oh. him, yeah, or you can oh. put him in another space. Oh. So in theory, you could keep pushing him all See the way it. back to his castle if you keep winning. Mm. Pushed it back. That's all right, because I'm going to challenge this square. Wow. I'm afraid of nothing. Ah. <laughs> except for flipping this. Ah, it's a four, I can handle that. All right, I'm gonna put a card face down, or face up. Face up. Yep. Because it is not sentient. Three or better. Woo, there's my seven. So nice. draw a card, hope right. it's enough to knock the castle down. Watch out, watch out. That's not your uh, key, is it? No. Oh, good. That's good. No, it's you not. wouldn't want me to stumble. Upon I'm still that gonna right attack now. you, but it's not my key. <laughs> but not for any other reason. All right. How many cards do you have in hand? Just two. Two. Seems we're evenly matched. This time. Mm. You need not play a card if you want to conserve. I'm 
playing a card. So am I. No? Yep. It's down there. <laughs> Choice has been made. This Giddle monster <laughs> must be stopped. Uh oh. Seven. Big roll. Plus two. Nine. That's close. And you're eight. Ah! You lose that victory. Last card. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, you lose that card. <gasps> That was a good card! That was a great card. That was a great card to see. Though. But I'm sorry that I did that because I'm only doing this to prove a point. <laughs> that it's not your fault. But I mean no harm and <laughs> ill will to you at all. None. None all right. at all. Okay. So for now, so, we continue. So now you can keep attacking me mm -hmm. even if you have no cards in your hand, which is definitely annoying. But I'm just gonna keep raiding your lands. Aha! A five. Okay. I told you it wasn't the key. It was not the key. You're right. I bet this is the key right here. <laughs> Gotta go all the way back. Alright. I'm gonna use a card on it, because it's not a very good one. Four plus one! That's a five! You here we it. go! Uh, gain a card for doing that. hate to say destiny, but I think it was meant to be. Go ahead. Terrible, terrible. I know. I know. It's just the coffee talking right now. It's the coffee. It's the coffee. I promise. Ooh, you really are drinking coffee. Oh, I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, we've got a couple more hours of this afterwards. We are going to be We're streaming gonna... tonight yeah. on Uncharted 4, by the way, guys. So stick around. If you want more feuding between me and Ryan. Or, or maybe we'll be or maybe we'll have made, made up, up by, by then. then. Yeah. We'll see who wins. Stay tuned and find out the dramatic conclusion of our friendship. <laughs> Or continuation. <laughs> or continuation. That is, that oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. So it's my turn? Where are we going? No, it's your turn? No, I just moved you're it battling your spot. It. I'm battling right. it. Distracted by the feud. I'm sorry. Got oh, an eight. Uh, well, I already chose not to use a card. Sucks. Would you like to push him around or make him lose a card? Well, I'm going to push you this way. Wow. Okay. I see. All right, I will take your offer of uh, retreat, and I will go ahead and run away. All right. I have I have no desire to hang out in your kingdom anymore. Wow, it's not good enough for you. <laughs> no, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna move there. Ooh. All right. Go ahead. It's always an effort. Wah, now am I in? Draw two, draw two. Draw two. The reload. And is that? Uh-oh. Can you exit and come back in and still draw? Ooh. Whoa. That's really good. I'm going to not do that, though. I'm going to run Emily, you have to get proactive here because you're just slowing him down from winning the game. You need to... I'm coming to uh, try to win the game. Cards. Get some cards. Get some yeah. cards. All right. I'm on it. This Don't you worry. Here. Like, the, re the refill and then, and then what? Mm. All right. Here we go. Get two more cards. Ooh. Good ones. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack your uh, little dude over here. I don't even know what's over there. That's four. Eight, four. All right. I'm just going to roll for it. Why not? Oh, Ooh. that was a mistake. I have chosen wrong. You lose one randomly. Oh, one card? Yep. yep. What? Oh, Ooh. that's even worse. Bonus choice. Well, I guess that's that works too. All right. All right. Well. So does that guy stay there now and yep, I can fight him again? You don't have to if you don't want I to. Don't. I'm going to run this way. Let you guys know that I had a foil Saber Leomon back in the day. Um, and also a Metal Greymon. We're talking about Digimon. I know. Chats, I, I, I picked just, it up. I picked know, it up. Those were okay. great cards. So I can't tell where I can move legally from here. Is that this spot? I think you can move into the castle again. Yep. Doing it. Game two cards. Those are good. Powering up? Sure am. All right. Well, I'm going to continue. Hmm. I'll move there. Do you know where I'm going? Can you guess? Can you I guess? wonder. I really wonder. All right. I'm going to move here. Is that possible? Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. Wait, where are you going? Somewhere? You're not you're not going over to Look my that. my castle, I'm going right? right oh, okay, there. right there. But no farther? No. Nope. Okay, cool. 
It's a race. Mm. Sure is. <laughs> what what, oh, wait, what no, is sorry, this? I meant, I meant right what there. is that? I meant right there. That's the second time. Second time, chat. Just be aware. I wish I could say I have bad eyes, but I actually don't. So that is a bad excuse. All right. Now I'm moving here. He's gonna know. One step away. Yeah, this isn't a step. <laughs> I challenge your castle. You need to do three damage to it. I'll do four. That is the game. Ah! Victor. Have I proven myself? <laughs> that just made it worse. The really important question. Did this game, designed today by our great devs here, did it help prove my innocence to Emily? That's the real question, because that was the real goal. You know what? Even though you destroyed my castle, <laughs> and you, uh, you killed a couple of my key dudes, I will forgive you, because you made me coffee later. So, cheers. There's the friend. real moral of the story. Just, just refill the pot. Make your friends coffee. All right. Do you only have any uh, notes or anything about the game uh, after we went through it uh, once? I thought it was really fun, actually. Once we got into the parts where we were trying to trick each other, mm -hmm. the start was a little slow, but most board games are a little slow until you start the action happening. Do you have any notes? Um, yeah, well, I like that. So it may be sort of a slow start, but like really it's only dependent on players. So once you realize that there aren't that many choices in the beginning, you can quickly move along and get to where you need to be. Um, I would say maybe the only thing I would consider is a, a comeback mechanic, mm. because once one player has the edge, it seemed like it would be hard for me to lose unless I made like a serious misstep or yeah. rolled really poorly. We were back talking just a little bit about yeah. the chase mechanic, mm -hmm. there's yeah. not a downside, and, and just spitballing was, if you win against somebody with no cards, like when you kept attacking her castle, yeah. turning your back to her, right. mm -hmm. if she come at you, if you lose with no cards, you respawn at your castle, but your castle loses two health. Ooh, so that's a lot of territory to cover. So you're incentivized to move around and not just meet in the castle. Right. Right. I was also thinking yeah. it might be good to perhaps add a second hero. That way you can have one on defense, oh, yeah. one on offense, and you can kind of protect your castle. And you just only do one attack. Actually, a dragon would mm. be really great. A dragon would have yeah. been perfect. Why didn't we add a dragon? Were there, were there thoughts yeah. about a dragon? Did that, dragon? did that come up? That would yeah. be great. Oh, okay. Anyway. Yeah, clearly in this game you win or you die. Oh. That's just like real life, guys. Accurate. Thanks, Game of Thrones. Thanks. Um, well, all right. I'm, uh, we made a game. We sure. played it. Still it it worked. Yeah. Yep. It did stuff. The table. And we um, didn't have to do too many crazy things we did on that horrible true. wheel. You Thank you for so that. Lucky. So lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Singing yeah. happy birthday and ad plot. That yeah. was it. Not too, much. Um, Not too much. What, what do we have uh, after this show? After this, Ryan and I are going to play some Uncharted 4, so uh, that should be fun now that we're friends again. Grab your popcorn. Grab your popcorn because we will be eating popcorn. <laughs> we do have some. And uh, then tomorrow morning, or uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Actually, that's not morning. Uh, Mitch and I will be hosting Rabbit Stew, so that's going to be an interesting episode. Gittlemania Part 2. Gittlemania Part 2. It's happening. So, yeah. All right, Anna, thank you. We're getting beat. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, let's do a little outro. Everyone yes. can plug Let me get out of the stuff, way. Uh, yeah. Drop your social media bits and pieces, you know. Uh, go, go ahead. Thank I'm you. Brian. Um, I run a game called Mongrel Mash, and... Uh, you can find it at uh, Facebook or just go to waithgames.com. Bye. <laughs> what? I'm Chad. I just helped him out. And I'm really tall, so if you have anything you want to <laughs> say about that, there you can you tweet go. at me at, at cbreedend. There you go. And I'm Craig. I don't work with these guys, but they seem really nice, so I like them. Uh, I'm on Twitter at tune underscore ace. Great. Thanks all for joining. I like you too. <laughs> that was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. 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 Uh, we did one of these. We did it. It worked. Uh, come back next week. We'll do it all again. Um, and stay tuned for Uncharted. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Right. He's so tall I couldn't see him. Uh, uh, stay tuned for Uncharted with Emily uh, and Ryan. Um, and that's it. We're out of here. Wrapping it up. Okay.